Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I'll get you guys plugged in before we have a disaster on our hands. Let's get you guys plugged in and ready to roll. So, happy day after Easter. Happy Monday. I should say just happy Monday. Happy day after Easter Monday. Happy. So, I don't want to get all religious or political. So, happy day after Monday. How's that sound? Hey, Linda. Ooh. <laughs> My hair is a little wild. As usual. It's gotten so long. I just want to cut it all off. I just want to cut it all off. Hey, Patina, how are you, my friend? Oh, it's warm up here. It's already hot in Florida. It's already hot here in Florida. Good morning, Dominique. How are you? Long time no see. How are you? My hair is like, here, I'll show you. I don't know if you can see like how long it's gotten. Like it's gotten so long and it just does this. Like it's just, and it's coming up to Florida summer. It just sits like a blanket on my neck. It just sits there. It's hot. So that's how I feel. I, what I do is I normally grow it out like this and then chop it off and donate it. And then grow it out and chop it off and donate it and grow it out and chop it off and donate it. I've been doing that since I was a young adult. Got my my coffee. I am fantastic. I live in between Tampa and Orlando, but I've got some really, really good friends in Jacksonville. And my dad's one of my dad's offices is in Jacksonville. All right, who's ready to get started? Who is ready to get started on the day of work? Dominique, I swear you've been in one, at least one live because I remember your name and I remember how pretty it is. You had to, have, or maybe you commented on a, 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 a vlog or something. I've, I've seen your name because I think it's such a pretty name. I remember it. I love the name Dominique. Okay.
All right. So what is going on with you guys? How was your Easter? Okay, I thought so. <laughs> My mind and Pam's. I love Pam. I just talked to her. Actually, about five minutes ago, I talked to her, texted her. She texted me. I texted her back. because Texting, 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 texting. So, yeah, you know. I thought that I would get these shirts going, get them to where they're just doing the stitch. Hold that thought. There we go. Plug you guys back in. Um, get to where they're doing just the satin stitch. I've got everything, all the applique done and laid out. And then um, I'm going to sew up some blankets that are done. I've got, let me count them. Hold on. I've got 14 blankets to sew up, 14. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 shirts to get done. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen 10, 11, 12, 13 bums to make. You think we got it by four? It's gonna be pushing it. It's going to be pushing it. I'm not going to lie. I don't know that I've done that much in that amount of time or not. So we're going to be, it's going to be pushing it for sure. So let's get started. Girl size eight. Got a bunch of girls. I need to order, order shirts. I'm going to do an inventory tomorrow. More and cut a bunch of stabilizer for me. A ton of it. So I don't have to worry about cutting stabilizer for a while. She cut all of this for me. So Lauren is, for those of you that don't know, I'm sure that you guys do know, uh, Lauren is my sister. She is coming to work with me now. Um, I've gotten to the point where I need help. And we've been talking. <laughs> My sister and I have been talking. And um, we just miss working with each other. So it's good all the way around. Not sure what that was. Looks like minky bits. Bits of minky. Say boo to bits of minky. We don't like that. We don't like bits of minky, do we guys? Thank you guys for the thumbs up already too. I really appreciate it. I know I say it a lot, but I just want to say thank you because I appreciate it. You guys do not have to come in here and you do not have to hit that thumbs up button and y'all don't have to do any of it. So I say thank you a lot because I really do appreciate it. You guys don't have to do any of this. You don't have to come on the lives. You don't have to. That's, it's not something that you guys have to do. So when you do it, I feel like thanking you because it's not something that you have to do. It's something you choose to do. And so I'm very thankful. Dominique, I knew I had seen your, your name before. It's just so pretty. What's wrong? There's not enough stabilizer on one side, but there's plenty on the other, so I just need to redo it. I need to redo. Hey, Kathleen, how are you? What's up, my friend? How was your Easter? There we 
go. I can't, I cannot hoop this one right to save my life. That is up too high. Mm. I'm doing this for twins. I hate doing twins. I hate it. Um, I, I take that back. I don't, I, I like having double orders. Don't get me wrong. It's nice having double orders. But the stress I go through <laughs> to make sure that each one is completely identical on something like a can, there we go, on something like a candy land. Um, you know, it uh, makes me nervous. Maybe I can't find it. There it is. Okay. Whoo. Scared me. Okay, let me catch up with you guys. Very quiet. Hi, Trisha. How are you doing? Long time no see, my friend. How are you? <laughs> all right. So um, thank you for the thumbs up, you guys. I know I say it all the time, but I just look up and see it, and I'm just so thankful. <laughs> so thankful. Um, we got 10 shirts, 14 14 blankets and 13 pairs of bums. I will not make the bums on camera because it's so loud. So loud. Hold on one second. Okay. So it's just the, the serger is super loud and I have to put it so you guys can see me and I can see you. I have to put it back um, with like to where you like closer to the serger and it's just so loud. I can't do that to you guys. Um, but I can, what I'll do is I'll come over and make all the blankets. Let me get this started. Um, whoo, you guys almost just went for a ride. <laughs> okay. Hang on one second. This is where I start to get confused. Hang on just one second. This is where I start to get a little confused and I have to look it up because there are 70 something steps on this. And sometimes I can't remember exactly what the candy is supposed to look like. So I literally have to go back and look.
Oh my God, I'm almost there for me. I'm on like step 50. Well, I messed this up. I gotta come and stare at you guys. I'm sorry. I messed up a design. It's easy to fix. It's just a pain in the butt because I messed up and it makes me mad at myself. It makes me very angry at myself. I put you guys down actually on the. Oh, we miss what we miss you guys. My day was amazing. We celebrated um, my birthday, my nephew's birthday, and Easter. Lots of family and friends. It was just, it was good. So give me just one second. I'm sorry, guys. I don't mean to stare at you. I just really have to do this, and I really, I, I feel bad doing it. C a i t, C a i t l y n. Actually, going to be a different font. I'm sorry, guys. I feel so bad doing this to you guys. I'm sorry. Give me just one second. I'll check in just a second. I just have to get this. M-A-D-I-S-O-N. This is the last one, hopefully. Give me just one second. I hate doing this to you guys. All right, Miss Madison, come on down here. So come on down, Miss Madison. All 
right, give me just one second. I'm so sorry. Hope you guys are at least talking amongst yourselves and I'm not ruining your talk. Okay. Oh, man. What did I do wrong? I'm trying to figure it all out. There we go. Hi. Hi, hi. Uh, trouble customer did not back down, um, but neither did your girl. I'm not backing down. Um, I told her flat out that, um, and I don't know where this courage came from. <laughs> Remind me. Of, I have no idea where this courage came from. Um, but I told her essentially that um, she could threaten me all she wanted to. Um, that I have the screenshots to prove how mean and nasty she's been and threatening that, um, I'm not going to be threatened. And if she left me a bad review, I would just simply screenshot everything and explain that it was her fault. I did exactly what her order said to do. I offered her a coupon on another one to fix it. What she's asking for is impossible for anyone to do. And, um, it's not my fault. And, um, she is still hammering me, but she's not left me a review. So I put her in spam last night cause I can't handle it anymore. Just can't do it. I'm not, it's, it's not okay. So let me, um, let's, let's try this again. Shall we? All right, now we got to start at the beginning. to get my phone again because I can't tell. So yeah, I just, um, I just put her, it's horrible to say, but I threw her into spam last night because I just can't take it anymore. I mean, I know how silly and how melodramatic that sounds, but I literally just could not take anymore. Sorry guys, I'm almost done. Kinda. This one just takes forever because it's 70 something steps. So it takes a minute to enter in all the colors.
Let me make sure this is exactly what she wanted. Size eight, seventh birthday. This one is Caitlin, C-A-I-T-L-Y-N, C-A-I-T-L-Y-N. Because I do not want to make this one again because it's got 70 something steps. Candy, candy, candy. Stops in. And going. Let me catch up with you guys. I'm so sorry. Yeah, there's no, no need, especially when they were in the wrong. Look at this poof. Do you guys see this poof? It's only like right here. I got to fix that. <laughs> I slip on my hair wet, so it's all like super poofy. It's all super poofy. And that's all I can see when I look in the camera that the computer is how poofy it is. That's all I can see this is the poof. I don't care about this poof because there's nothing I can do about the big wad of hair back there. But this poof, we can we can work with this poof. So what are you guys up to? How is everybody's, for those of you that celebrate, because I know not everybody celebrates and that's perfectly fine. Um, I don't want you to feel like you have to celebrate because you're on the live or anything like that. That's that's silly. I don't I don't believe in that. Um, but those of you who did sell did celebrate, how was your Easter? Did you guys get good food? Did you have good family time? Did you guys hunt eggs? Did you dye eggs? Um, we had a birthday celebration, like a double birthday celebration. And um, they, um, the kids then went swimming. And Terry and I took off when they started swimming because we had a lot we had to do. Went by Sam's and Sam's was closed, even though on the website it said it was open on Easter Sunday. Um, so we're going to have to go today. But I got to get some floats for the pool because we're coming up on pool season. Pool season is the only thing that is good about summer. <laughs> I got to get some floats so I can float in the pool. Got to get some floats so I can float in the pool. I got to find something to put you guys on. I got to find something to put you, you people, you find people on. There we go. This will work. This will work. We'll put you fine people on this. So I'm curious as to how y'all all did yesterday. Like who... Did you guys get to celebrate? Did you get to have fun? Like, was it uh, was it awesome? Did everybody get family time? And for those of you that don't celebrate, which is, you know, it's perfectly fine. Um, I don't care what you guys do in your free time as long as you don't murder somebody. Um, hope it went good for you and hope you guys had a good time. Or if you just slept. I felt like just sleeping. I'll tell you, I was tired. Your girl was tired.
Go that thought. I got to find something. So Lauren's coming over to do some more heat bonding tomorrow and helping me straighten up the closet some more because the closet is a hot, hot, hot mess. You heard it here first. Hot mess. We did hamburgers and hot dogs <laughs> on Easter Sunday, which is not something we've ever done as a family. We always have like a traditional Easter We always do a traditional Easter ham, you know, that kind of thing. But like this year we did it because of birthdays. This year we did not because of birthdays. So you know how that goes. We did a celebration, but not... Um, Oh, okay, Dominique, my mom did an Easter egg hunt for my kids and cooked for everybody. It was fun, and I was so happy to have a break. Truth, it's it's good to have a break. Don't you feel bad about saying that? Don't you feel bad about taking a break? Don't you dare. Everybody needs a break. So we're just going to babysit these machines for now. That's what we're going to do. We're going to babysit the machines and go from there. Hey, Carolyn. All my kids are going to spend the day sewing. That's fine. That's, that sounds, sometimes I'm telling you right now, that is just the way to be, just to get up into your area and just go and just do you. Okay. Let's get the pink. Let's get the pink. Carolyn, what's going on with you, friend? Did you have a good Easter if you celebrated? If you did celebrate, what did you do? If you did not celebrate, what did you do? <laughs> What did you do yesterday, you guys? Pull this over here real quick. Okay. Let me see. Oh no, what do you need to know? Trisha, what can I, is there something I can help you with? 
we've all been super duper busy, but not too busy, you know? When I'm not busy on Etsy, then I just I spend time basically up here doing samples and that sort of thing and or spend time with Terry. Sometime, I tell you, I, and I don't mean to sound like ungrateful because you guys know I'm not ungrateful. I'm extremely grateful for everything. But sometimes it's nice to have a little bit of a break. I'll be honest with you. Uh, there are times that I really miss my family and I really miss Terry. Terry refuses to come up here and spend any time with me. He hates it up here. Um, he'll come up here to help me, like help me go down, you know, go down the stairs, help me carry some stuff down the stairs, um, that kind of thing. Um, but other than that, he really hates being up here. So he doesn't come up here to just hang out with me. So I miss him. So I miss him when that happens. Hope I didn't just ruin the shirt. I feel like I just ruined the shirt. Let's see. Oops, I see something. to find out if I ruined it or not. Yeah, that went well. All right, let me catch up with you guys. Not much, same old Easter. Same old, same old. <laughs> I hear you. <ya. laughs> Trisha says, I miss so much about you and Pam and Angela. Well, what can I help you with? Oh, yeah. Well, Angela kept it a secret for quite a long time. Quite a long time. She she didn't tell anybody. So don't, don't feel like you missed out on her whole pregnancy because she hid it until she was like 32 weeks pregnant. 33 weeks pregnant. Oh my gosh, I had the, the 2300. Yeah. Yes, I had a lot of problems with that 2300. It's just so you know, it turned out to be a lemon. Um, brother replaced it from scratch. I got a brand new one, brand new one. which is what should have happened with all the trouble I was having with it. I'm not asking for something for free because the machine was $5,000. Um, I was just asking for one that works for $5,000. You hear me, Bean? You know what I'm saying, Bean? We say that a lot. My, nie my niece says it a lot. She says, you know what I mean, Bean? All right, so this one is a 12-month short sleeve shirt. Let me grab a 12-month shirt. Hold on one second. I went ahead last night before we, before I got started. I came up here a little bit last night. Maybe like 15, 20 minutes. Not, not enough to do anything. Um, I did one pair of bums, and then I got prepped for today, completely prepped. I um, got all my shirts done, um, you know, like, 
creased in half. I got all those done. Um, made sure I had all my scissors and you know what I mean I just got ready for the day just got ready for the day forgot stabilizer <laughs> I thought it hooped really easily <laughs> I was impressed with how easy that hooped Danny. I was highly impressed with how that hooped. <laughs> There was somebody at my front door that didn't ring the doorbell. They were just standing there, so it's a little freaky. Just a little freaky. Here we go. Here we go. Hey, Karen, how are you? What am I doing? I'm doing the same old or tutu outfits, bummy outfits, shirts, bums, blankets, you know, all the stuff. 6 a.m., you are up early, my friend. That's fine. I don't mind answering it. You are good to go, my friend. Don't you stress. Not over something like that. I will answer most questions, honest to God. I would say I answer probably about 98% of the questions I get asked. And I don't mind. But there are some, if I'm not comfortable answering it, then I'll just say, hey, you're not comfortable. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Because I don't mind helping. ordered a new phone case yesterday. Um, it's one that holds an extra battery pack like, because my battery dies all the time. In fact, I need to be charging my phone right now. Like all joke aside, let me go charge it.
All right. Phone is plugged in and doing a charge. Oh, goodness. Let me catch up with you guys. Goodness gracious. Yeah, stress. I I was like that when um, we owned the dog and cat facility, the pet resort. So we, we owned it for 13 years. And um, the only reason why we closed, honestly, was because we couldn't get anybody to work. Through COVID and after COVID, people just didn't want to work. Um, we had openings for six people. Six. And couldn't even get anybody to come in for her. Um, what do you call it? Couldn't even get anybody to come in for an interview. So I get it. Um, that's when my stress really popped up. And I was I was literally throwing up every day. from stress. Literally throwing up everything. Every time my phone rang, every time my phone went off, it was pretty bad, y'all. We had to close down. So, and it wasn't because business was bad. We were slam packed turning people away. Slam packed turning people away. I just couldn't get any, couldn't get anybody to work. Um, and I was just, I couldn't. I, I, I hate saying that. I hate saying that. I hate admitting it. But I just couldn't do it anymore. I, I just couldn't. My mental health was not going to let me. Um, we were losing Gypsy. We had just lost my grandmother. Um, this business had taken off. Um, my body, like my physical body was taking a toll, um, from stress. And if you, if you say that stress doesn't cause physical remedy, physical stuff, you're crazy because it does. And it did. So now, you know, I was going, working there all those hours and then coming home and doing all the Etsy stuff and it just got to be too much. I could not keep up anymore. And I was making myself sick trying to. Absolutely sick trying to make it all work. And it just wasn't worth it. was not worth it. So now I am unbelievably happier, like immeasurably happier, I'm not sick anymore. I'm not stressed like I was so much easier. Everything was so much easier. So we'll keep that, right? Keep it going. Let me move you guys down some. I feel so bad like when I do lives because because when I do lives, I don't really show you guys my work so much. And I've been over and over and over and over and over and over that. And I will continue to go over it if you want me to. Um, but, um, let 
you know. I just feel bad. I feel like you guys got to be bored out of your mind just staring me down. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? So, and it that's when I took a break from YouTube, too. Um, I took a break from YouTube. I, I upped my prices on Etsy and up my, my turnaround time. So I didn't get a lot. I just needed a break. I needed a break from Etsy. I needed, I needed a break from Etsy because of everything else in my life. Not because I needed a break from Etsy because it was too much, but I just needed just a little bit of a break. Um, and that's why I disappeared from YouTube. Um, I think I took like eight months off of YouTube because I can't get in front of the camera and just pretend my life was falling apart. My life was actually falling apart right before me. And I couldn't pretend like that wasn't happening, you know. And I wasn't going to. I'm, I, I just refuse. I, I am who I am. And you guys get the good and the bad. But there was no good. So that's what you missed. <laughs> Not a whole lot. Not a whole lot. Not a whole lot, that's for sure. Yeah, that was stressful when you couldn't get home. So, you know, that's what you missed. <laughs> that's what you missed. So no big deal. It's truly not. Looking back on it now, it's like, is what it is, right? finish this one real quick because this one this is the last step before it goes into um the satin stitch and then i've got to babysit the candy land because there's so many steps in it and none of them are like it's not a it's not a bot design it's one that i merged i merged like six different files to make it and um so it doesn't st it doesn't like stitch out everything and then go through for the satin stitch like most do. It it does that per design. So like it just finished the number and it made the whole number from start to finish. And then I've got to go in and do the next one, start to I have to do it six times, start to finish. So there's no real like letting it loose. And like like this one, I can I can put all the applique down at once and then let it go. The other one I could not. I cannot, it won't, it just won't do it the way it, and I don't know how to fix that. Um, I'm sure that there is a way, but I'm afraid because there's a lot of stitching on it that the stitching will get in, like that'll stitch over something or, you know. Something like that, you know what I mean. Get that one started and then let me I just had it. Let me go lay this one down.
Okay, that one's going. That one's going. Okay, let me catch up. Well, thank you. It does take a lot of courage. I'll be honest with you. Um, it does. It's really hard, um, especially live. Like, I'm okay now with lives because I've done them so much. But, like, the first couple of lives, if you go back, I look petrified. <laughs> and it's not far away from being petrified because it's, it's weird because, like, you're just talking to a computer and you're talking to an image of yourself. So it's just, it's kind of weird. Like, see, my face is getting red. <laughs> So I think like Terry always knows when I'm live because I'm up here just blah, 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 blah. You know, you know how it goes. So yes, we are much happier. We are much less stressed. We are, and I just have to tell you again, we, I'm so much happier. Just so much happier. A little piece of fabric is stuck to my hand. And it's weird because, like, when you guys get quiet in the chat or when there's a lot more lurkers than there are talkers, it um, it makes like, I don't know. It makes me very self-conscious, which is silly. I know. But it's like, I need mean, to struggle to make it work. Oh my gosh, it's crazy. Thank you, Kathleen. I am too. <laughs> I get it. I get it. bit of a bright light in here a little bit of fresh light natural light not fresh
My phone is never going to charge if I keep doing this. Hold on. My phone is just never going to charge if I do this, if I keep doing this. And it's, it's literally fixing to go out. I'm fixing to lose everything because of it. Oh, my niece and nephew are autistic, so I totally get it. Totally get it. I've got one that's very high on the spectrum. She's very high functioning. And then my nephew is not. charging my phone is charging hot dog hot dog so there we go all right and I just realized that I'm a horrible big sister because I was supposed to pick up my sister's target order On Friday. I forgot it from Friday. fine. So thank you guys all for the thumbs up. I really appreciate it. We're at 15. It just makes me so happy. So happy. So <laughs> thank you. All right. We've got those two going. Here. We will figure it out, won't we? We will figure it out. 
we got this. So what are you guys up to? Giving me a complex up here. Nobody talking and I'm just talking to myself as usual. Make me so nervous. Are these, um, are these too bright? These open windows? I know it's kind of hazy. It's making my face kind of hazy. And behind me is like a halo. Do I need to close those down or are you guys okay with that? I don't want it to be too bright on you. It does change the way everything looks. So I thought I would just check with you guys just to be sure that it's, it's something that you guys are good with. I don't want you guys going like this to the, to the, cause I kind of am. Um, I don't want you guys going like that to the, you know, squinting at the computer screen or your phone screen or your iPad screen or your tablet screen, whatever you guys happen to be on. I don't want it to be too bright for you guys. Trisha and I are keeping this conversation going with Kathleen coming in every once in a while. <laughs> It's good. Okay. I just, this one, especially because this one, at least this one has three, but this one doesn't have anything blocking it at all. So it gets really bright, but I sometimes feel like I'm in a dungeon up here because there is no real windows. Like those windows don't open and the color of the walls is a little dark. And, um, so sometimes I feel like I'm in a, you know, so, but I'm saving right now to have our house painted professionally because I, I would honestly, this is not an exaggeration of any shape or form. I would rather scrub toilets at McDonald's without a hazmat suit than paint. I would rather, yeah. Yeah, I would rather, you heard me, I'd rather scrub McDonald's, public McDonald's bathrooms, like on a busy highway where people come in than paint. <laughs> You guys heard it here first. That's the honest to God truth. It's the truth, my friends. It is the truth. We'll see. So those of you, what is going on with everyone? I I feel like I say that all the time. I say it when it gets really quiet in the chat. Um, I don't know where Michelle is. I don't know where my Michelle is. I should send her a... She usually pops on as soon as... Um... Let me see. So usually she pops on like immediately. Thank you, Kathleen, for posting it in the VIP group. I really appreciate it. Like so much you just don't even know. I'm going to start posting it also in the big group. You know what? I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to post it in the big group. I'm not sure what that was.
All right, I posted it. So maybe we'll get some more people in. Michelle is missing in action. That is for sure. She's probably really busy at work. She, um, There are some days when she goes in that she is just super busy. Um, she's always here to help. So we're fine. I miss her, but I get it that she's got a lot going on. I get it because I get there too. Oh, a 3D printer. That's awesome. I want one, but I have no idea what I would do with it. To be honest with you. I have no idea what I would do with it. But I... Don't know what just happened there. I hope you guys, am I still here or did I just totally mess up and, and kill us off? Can someone let me know if I'm still here or not? Because I honestly don't know. Okay, I had some, a, a thing popped up from YouTube and I clicked out of it, so I don't know if it ended the live or if I messed up. Hopefully, I didn't mess up the live. Am I still here? Maybe I'm not still here. Maybe I'm gone. Okay, thank you guys. I was starting to get worried. This weird window I've never seen popped up about YouTube and then I clicked out of it and I was afraid that it really, really messed us up, so. I have 21 minutes left on one and 33 left on the other. So, I'm going to go ahead and pick up another one. I'm going to go ahead and pick up another one. You guys, seriously, I get asked all the time. What, um, hey Megan, what's going on, my friend? Um, what hoops I use? I would never use anything other than Mighty Hoops, they are the very best. and hoop these up they're all went ahead and they're all pressed in the middle so all i have to do is throw them on um my hoop and then throw them on the machine um the machines are not there's like 30 minutes on each one around 30 minutes on each one left to go but um i can go ahead and hoop it right and get them ready to just throw on i got a size eight and a size two t so the eight's going on the nine by eight hoop and the 2T is going on by the 725 hoop. I'll tell you right now, Mighty Hoop, if you're watching, feel free to sponsor me. I need a bunch more hoops, and I talk about you guys all the time. Feel free. I doubt you're watching, though. <laughs> Thank you guys for the thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Megan, what did, what did you do yesterday? Hold on. I think I just heard Terry.
I did not. I'm going crazy. I'm going crazy, which is fine, which is fine. I know people make fun of me all the time for it, but I am. I am so careful when I hoop. <laughs> Mighty hoops make it so much easier, you guys. So much easier. Hey, Dustin, thank you so much for letting me know. Welcome to the live. I don't think I've ever seen you before. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm not saying that you've never been here before. You probably have been here before and are just kind of chilling, which is perfectly fine. But it's nice to see you and nice to meet you. I like that name. Is that your first name? It's a really pretty name. I'm Danny, so I like unusual names, different names. Not that yours is unusual. It's just I don't, I've never heard it before, so I think it's so pretty. I think it's so pretty. There we go. Hi, Stephanie. How are you, friend? How are you? I am fantastic. I'm so glad that you're here. <laughs> I am fantastic. How are you? It's so good to see you. Thank you guys for the thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Really, really, really appreciate it. So what's going on, Stephanie? Let's see where we're at. Oh, God, I left that one stranded. Not good, Danny. That's very silly of you. bobbin. <laughs> well, let's try a new bobbin because it's almost the bobbin. <laughs>
There we go. Okay, give me just one second. All right. So we're going to catch up with that. Y'all, I gotta tell you something. I gotta tell you. I am so hungry. My stomach, you guys are gonna hear it growling. It's so loud. So embarrassing. I'm gonna try to drink more coffee today. Y'all know I'm not gonna eat on the live. Y'all know that for a fact. I don't I don't know if you guys have ever noticed. I rarely, rarely. Very rarely, if ever, even eat on the vlog. Like, I just don't do it. This is not for me. <gasps> awesome. What, okay. Where, first of all, let me ask you this. What, is it a small town or a big town that you're going to be at the market for? Is it going to be like a lot of small town vendors? And by that, what I mean is... Are you in like um, a city, like a big city, or are you in a smaller town? Smaller town. Okay. Because when I go to a bigger city, I have to take different stuff because it sells different. Um, I always take bull koozies. I'm now taking hot pads. Because um, someone someone mentioned that the last live or the live light last live or the live before. I'm not sure which one. Um, so I'm making hot pads now. I looked it up how to make them. Um, I always take purses I make, zipper pouches I make, and keychains. Sometimes I take dog bandanas, and sometimes, because my small town is very animal friendly, very pet friendly, um, especially dog friendly. So I always take those. Um, sometimes I take a, like um, hair tie ties that I make. Um, like sometimes I make them... Um, with um, like a theme set, like hair elastics with themes. And sometimes I don't. And sometimes I take lanyards that I make and sometimes I don't. But then in the bigger city, and it depends on pricing too. You can price them different. In the bigger city, I price them different. I price them more expensively. Hope that makes sense the way I do it. I hope so. Um, but I feel like if you take like hand sewn items, like I'll take, um, sometimes I'll make a ton of hand towels, like kitchen towels and sell those. Like if I were going around Easter, I'd make Easter themed ones. I always take one with my name on it. Like one that I make for my house and I can show them to people and I can take a custom order and make it for them. I always include shipping. Like they always have to pay shipping if I have to ship it. So stuff like that. I don't know what area you're going to. We're also a very artsy community, so that helps me a lot, I feel. Um, we'll see. So it all depends on your market, you know. Um, your first one's gonna be so much fun. I had so much fun online. Today I've got to make ten shirts, thirteen bummies, and fourteen. I gotta, they're already embroidered. I just have to sew up the blankets.
Okay. The good news is, is that we're closing in on the first um, Candyland being done. Bad news is, is I've got four of them to do. Not bad news. I'm thankful for the orders. They're just, the Candyland one's just a little difficult. It's got 70 something steps. quite a few steps. That's why it costs a little bit more. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, I would totally make a list and in your list that you make, write down prices. Um, that way you've got them right there. I noticed when I sell more, I have prices actually on like a price sticker actually on the item. I don't sell as much when I have just like the signs. So if I take, when I go now, I take the signs and each one is individually Price with a little price sticker um, because um, I'm glitching. Megan, try signing out and signing back in. I hope it's not me. Oh, I hope it's not me because I don't know how to fix it if it's me. Sign out. If you don't, Megan, can you sign out and sign back in and let me know if it's still going? Is anybody else getting glitches from me or is it just Megan? You know? Is anybody else experiencing glitches? Can somebody let me know? What is it? What is glitching? What is it like spinning? Hey, Karen. How are you? How did Bobbin on the other machine? it okay thank you megan if you guys are glitching at all if you guys could sign out and sign back in i think it's it might be youtube hopefully it's not me it's the sound we're fine now okay thank you guys for letting me know Okay, good. It makes me it makes me nervous when things go wrong. <laughs> Yo, my stomach is growling something fierce.
All right, Trisha. We'll see you soon. Oh, very cool. This is what I use, uh, just so you know. Um, they're downstairs. They're just the little Avery labels. I didn't get a pricing gun because that's expensive. I just use the 99 cent labels. You can get them at the Dollar Tree. Um, they're just round and they're by Avery or whatever Avery equivalent is. Um, and I just write on it and then take the sticker and stick it on the item. Those are just what I use. You don't have to have it to, unless you just want to, then go for it. But if you're doing it just to add a price to it, you don't have to spend all that money um, unless you want to. Like, I understand wanting to have it a certain way, but in case you're trying to save money, those are what I use. Um, I don't know. That's just what I use. That's what I do. And I have noticed I've been doing them for so I've been doing them since 2012. Um, so I've been doing good Lord. I've been doing craft fairs for 11 years. And that's one of the main things I've noticed is if they're double priced, like if they're priced actually on the item and also on a, a sign, they sell so much faster and people would buy more because they don't have to like add it in their head and trying to figure it out. It's right there in front of them. That's that's what I feel. The difference is I could I could be totally wrong. It's right in front of me. Hi, Jackie. Um, I guess try to sign out and sign back in. I'm, I'm guessing that um, there was an issue with YouTube because everybody that went out and came back in says it's okay. In less than a minute, it's going to be ready to go. Jackie, try that. Try leaving and come back in and see. Um, Megan did that, and she said it fixed it. that'll work. Um, I hope it works for you, Jackie. I really do. If it's still doing it, let me know and we can, uh, I can see about starting a new one.
Oh, thank you, Megan. I get, I don't know what it is. I don't know who it is. I don't know that it even really bothers me, to be honest with you. But as soon as I put a vlog up, like as soon as I put a vlog up, someone goes in and gives me a thumbs down. I mean, I occasionally do get thumbs down and I understand it because my vlogs sometimes aren't what people, you know, my vlogs are, are mine, but they're not what some people want them to be. So I understand the thumbs down, but it's weird because um, it's really strange because it, it happens every time, like within seconds, like not seconds, but within minutes of doing it. Uh, uh, within minutes of releasing it, it's already gotten down and it's always just one thumbs down, usually. We got that one going. Okay. Oh, thanks, Carolyn. I don't know why, um, but it's, it is what it is. Car Stephanie, I am using the best scissors in the whole wide world. Let me get them for you. Hold on. I'll get you Give me just one second. I'll get you a link because I feel like I need to share this with everyone. Um, I think everybody, whoops, she spelled it right. I think everybody and their brother should have these. <laughs> and oh, they're on sale, 18% off. Woo, nice. Hit the wrong button. Here they are. The best scissors in the world. In fact, when they go a little bit dull, even a little bit, um, what I did is I've had I've had two pairs. This is the one you get marked. Um, this one's a little, I don't like it for the fabric anymore. So I made them my vinyl scissors. And you see that sharp edge on the bottom? That cuts vinyl into little creases and corners so well. So I have two pairs. I have one for vinyl, one for fabric, and then I have this one. Let me find it. <laughs> and then I got these. The only thing about them I don't like is they're small. 
Um, but I got these. They are super sharp. By they're by Ginger. Um, and um, I got those for Minky. I you can, Carolyn will tell you they are the best. Uh oh. Uh oh. I lost my piece of fabric. There it is. Oh my gosh, Stephanie, they're like $14 and change right now. Um, they're normally $18. When I first bought them, they were $13, but now they're $18. But there is a, um, there is a, uh, they're 18% off right now. It brings them down to like $14 and change. And if you think about it, I've had the ones I'm using right now, right now for almost a year. So if you think about that, how many how many other scissors do you buy in a year that you buy to replace each other? Um, did I do this wrong? What am I doing wrong here? Here it is. 2T short sleeve, 2T short sleeve, second birthday, Emerson font bean. Emerson, I do this right. 2T Emerson, Emerson is, okay. About it like I said if you buy like three or four pairs of scissors you know even the little yellow the little orange ones that I got Pam originally started on um you know they're like nine ten bucks a piece now maybe eight so for just a little bit more you can buy these that'll last a lot longer I'm not trying to convince you of anything please understand that I'm just pointing out certain things um so that's, that's what I do with it. That's the way I look at it. Hi, Alicia. Thank you so much. They're hot. Uh, people think they're red, but they're actually hot pink. They look red on camera, but they're a hot pink color. Yeah, these have a, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness.
Okay. I just looked at my phone and my phone had like 12, I said 12, 12 um, alerts, text messages, Etsy, emails, and apparently my front door camera heard a sound. Goodness gracious. They are. You can ask Megan. Megan said so. There, there are a game. They, they are a game changer. Like all jokes aside, when I bought my my first single needle, my very first single needle, because um, I had three at one point or two. I had one traded it in, so I kept two. I always try to keep two machines. In fact, when I had my first multi needle, I still kept the twenty three hundred just in case as a backup. Um, but. Totally forgot where I was going with that. Oh, when I bought the my first sing, my first single needle, the lady at the store said, "You've got to try these. Go ahead and take them." Because I was like, I don't want to spend fifteen dollars on a pair of scissors, because I was using a different one at the time. And she's like, "Just trust me." And she gave them to me um, because I had just bought a five thousand dollar machine, so a pair of scissors was nothing. Um, and I literally, that's the only, those are the only scissors I'll buy. They are super sharp. They have a tilt, like a, their um, curve, they have a curved tip and they have, um, they have big handles, like big finger holes and they are super sharp. So I, you can ask Megan, Megan will tell you too. Megan bought some, um, they are amazing. They really are amazing. In fact, I just I I've ordered more since then because um, I got my first my first single needle in 2020, and I've gone through since 2020. Today's you know we're in 20 we're in April of 2023. Even um, I replaced three. I've, I've bought three pairs in three years, and one of them I use for um, vinyl, so it's not completely out by one. more fabric off they do they last forever carolyn carolyn has some too they last a very long time and like i said i'm not trying to get you to do one thing or the other but i i tell you from my experience that i, I absolutely love them they are the bomb.com
five more minutes on the candy land all to do it all over again. Smell something burning. They do. Um, I would highly suggest them. In fact, I think it's on my, on my, um, in my description. I think it's like the, the first one in my description. Um, I think I actually, <laughs> I think I actually wrote, typed out best embroidery scissors ever. These are life, like if you do a lot of applique, they are like life changing. They don't hurt your fingers. They cut super smooth. Tip is super sharp. It's so sharp, in fact, that um, even when doll can cut vinyl, even the thick vinyl. You guys are so quiet. Even my normal talkers are quiet. Everybody's got a lot of work going on, right? So what's going on with you guys in your life right now? Here, things are really good. We had a, I had my birthday on Friday. Terry took Friday off to celebrate with me. Um, his work is kind of, they don't have like a set vacation schedule anymore. Like they um, 
trying to tie it into vacation. Like you get extra vacation days if you don't use them during the like on a holiday. Candyland is done. Got to do another one. Hi guys, I'm doing out the number, the colors on. Right. Catch up with you guys. Thank you for the happy birthday. <laughs> happy birthday. <laughs> I hear you. I just turned 44 and it's like, I always say it beats the alternative, right? I'm alive and I'm healthy and I'm having a good time and all of that. Like I have a really great life and I'm thankful for it, but I don't know how it happened. Hey, Monica, happy birthday to you. But yeah, I um, I just don't know how it happened. Like, how is this possible? I was just 21.
Okay. There we go. Well, thank you, Stephanie. It's just a number. That's this, you know, the older I get, the more I realize it's just a number. And I'm thankful. I'm not upset that I'm getting older. Please understand that. I think it's um, a privilege that not everybody gets. And I think it's something that you need to be thankful for. Be thankful you that you're still living and healthy and happy. You know what I mean? I am just flabbergasted as how it to how it happened. <laughs> That's all I mean. I am just absolutely flabbergasted as to how it happened. I don't. I just don't know how it happened so fast. I swear to you. It, it used to be like, like when I was in high school, like my junior and senior year, I never will forget. My parents were pretty strict growing up. I'm not complaining. I'm very thankful. I had really good parents. Um, and I remember thinking like my, my junior, senior year of high school that I cannot wait until I get to the point where I don't answer to anybody other than myself because my parents were pretty strict. And then I thought, oh, I'll get in college. and I'll be responsible for myself. And that's it. No, I still had to answer for grades, which is fine. Don't get me wrong. I'm not, trust me, I'm not upset about that. It helped me. Um, and now that I'm responsible for myself, I'm like, take it back. I want to go back to kindergarten. Good morning, Cynthia. Good morning, Johanna. How are you guys? How are you guys doing? I am doing fantastic. Thank you so much for asking. I really am. Like all joke aside, it's it's a good day to be alive, right? Hold that thought. Really busy with orders. No mail pickup until tomorrow. Hopefully, I didn't get any customers complaining because Friday was no pickup either. I, when that happens, there's nothing, <laughs> absolutely nothing you can do. I had pickup on Friday that went out on Saturday because Friday was a no mail day. There's nothing I can do about that.
In fact, they were all set and ready to go. I just truly forgot that it was good. I mean, I didn't forget that it was Good Friday. I forgot that there was no mail on Good Friday. Just totally forgot. It never entered my mind or else if, if it had, um, I would have done them a day earlier to get them out. Like I would do them on Thursday. Somehow, I would have figured out a way to get them done a day early. Don't ask me how. But I would have tried my best. I would have tried my absolute best. Jim Jam Joy, hi. Crazy week. Tell me about it, friend. I would love to hear about it. Let me put this on real quick. Something's not right with my machine. Of course they can try again. You can try again, but they're going to pay shipping. Well, I'm telling you what to do, right? I don't I don't mean it like that, but I would have them pay for shipping. Mm -hmm. Cuz that's not your fault. They need to pay for shipping to deliver it back to you or to have it you need to they need to pay shipping to to send it back. It's my opinion. I mean, I'm not trying to tell you what to do with your business. I'm just telling you what I would do if it were mine. Send that to Etsy. Send that to Etsy. Take a picture of it with your phone. Look it up on your phone. Take a picture of it on your phone and submit that to Etsy. They will not side with her if it's been delivered. And it has been delivered. It's been delivered back to your po her post office. That's her responsibility to go and get it. It's not my place to tell you what to do. I'm sorry. I just meant that's what I would do for mine if it were mine.
That's just what I would do if it were my business. Because that's really, it's just not your fault. It's just, it's not your fault. Neither one of those are your fault. Because people don't care. They don't want to be inconvenienced. It's her fault. She knows it. She just wants you to, to do something about it. And she's embarrassed. Hopefully. Hopefully that's all it is. Is she's embarrassed. Yeah, you'll never get an apology. People kind of... There should be customer penalties. I agree. I agree. personally think a customer there should if you I don't know I have definite um, opinions <laughs> definite opinions about it that's for sure <laughs> you know how it goes definite opinions Yeah, tell her, Erp. no ma'am. <laughs> yeah, no ma'am. It's not my place to tell you what to do, but if it were me, I'd be a no ma'am type of situation. You know.
right. Kill him with kindness, guys. That's <laughs> just kill him with kindness. That's what I do. And then I block them. Like there's there was one lady that got so mad at me over an address. Um, she put in the wrong address but didn't tell me. And you guys know you have to ship to the address on file. She sent it to me two days after it had shipped. And she was so nasty and kept writing so many things so fast that Etsy marked it as spam. Not me, Etsy. So. So, you know, now people, you know, I try to be understanding. I really do. I really try hard. Sometimes it's very difficult, though. Largest kid shirt that I make. My twin's birthday is the 17th. I'd like to order a shirt from you if you have the larger sizes. What size are you looking for, Alicia? I go up to size 14 in girls. Um, um, but if you want like a shirt that I can get at, at Hobby Lobby, like a youth size, like small, extra small, small, medium, large, extra large, I can do those too. I would be absolutely honored. Yep, I do have a 12 and a 14. Hold on, let me grab them. Let me grab them and show you. The only problem I have with this, and I don't know if it's going to be a problem for you, um, is I've got the 14s only come in AJ Blanks and the 12s I only have in Blanks Boutique. Is it going to bother you that they're different brands? Because if it is, if I have enough time and you don't mind paying shipping, I can order a 12 in AJ Blanks. But I don't know how long it's going to take to get here because Angela just had a baby. So it's okay for these two. You're so sweet. Let me, um, before you do, um, I'll send you a 10% off coupon.
oh, girlfriend, I can give you a, a 10% off. Absolutely. Especially since you're ordering two. I know. And I'm so honored. Like, so honored. it to you. <laughs> now, I can't make you use it, but whether you use it or not, it's up to you. Okay, let me hoop up some more shirts. this done. Let's hook up the 2T. Let's hook up the 2T. Sorry guys, you know I pay close attention when I hoop. I'll look up in just a second. As soon as I get this one hooped, I'll look up and catch up with you guys. Does anyone know, um, I don't know if Angela's released it. I don't know if she's even talked about it. She didn't do it with Riley or Roman. Um, do you guys know what her... What her nursery decor is or what, anything like that? I guess I just need to text her. I'll text her. Let me text her. Oh, is it you? I got a sale. <laughs> oh, 
Let me see. Let me see. So I just want to make sure, um, Alicia, thank you. Number one, thank you. <laughs> number two, um, I'll see you later, Jackie. Have a great day. Um, you don't want a birthday number on it, on either one. I just want to make sure because I can do, I can do up to like, you know, I can do any number because I that's one of mine that I made myself. So I can do up to any, any number you want. If you're worried about that, if it if it didn't go like if the um, if, if the drop down number didn't go high enough, I can do it. I just choose not to. But for you, I'll do it. They will be ten. Okay, I will I will make sure that the ten is on there. I will make sure of that, my friend. Almost didn't make that one. That one's almost dangerous. Oh no, thank you. Thank you so much. I'm just honored. <laughs> like, trust me, you can say thank you all you want to, but I'm honored. So we're, we've got three, two, hold on. So we got two shirts done, one almost done. To be fair, one of them is a can, this one's a Candyland too. Um, for a set of triplets. And, um. So the candy lands, you guys know, take a lot longer, but this one is almost done. Yeah. <laughs> 
Hey, Rhonda, what's going on, friend? My phone is literally going to go dead. I really need that second battery. That's for sure. them all. I was a little concerned there for a minute. I'm not going to lie. I was a little concerned there for a minute that I didn't have all the colors I needed. I've got a um, bay, I've got a um, pastel rainbow, three of them to do. Three, not four, three. Um, and I was scared that I didn't have light blue or lavender, but I do. But I do, I do, I do. I do, I do, I do. Okay. Oh, thank you, Kathleen, for the reminder for the thumbs up. Thank you so much, you guys. Uh, so much. It, I just... got a friend of mine. She is a breeder, a dog breeder. And um, honestly, if Luca weren't so aggressive, I would probably get a dog from her. But Luca is extremely, extremely dog aggressive. Um, Luca has a very high prey drive. And um, she's having a really hard time with somebody who wants to buy a dog from her that she refuses to sell to. I feel bad for her because they're giving her a hard time. And I know the person that's, that's trying to, to buy it because um, we live in a very small town. Everybody knows everybody here. Um, I grew up in this county, so I didn't grow up in, in the city I'm in. I grew up in the city next door. Um, and then I, I lived in Orlando for ever. 
Um, but I know of her and the breeder, my friend, the breeder is making the right decision. And um, just giving her a hard time. Feel bad. But my friend, the breeder will stand up and say, no, ma'am. Right, this one's done. Yay! Free tea, free tea, Evan. Hey, Kim, how are you? Nice to see you. That'll work. Oops. This will work much, much better. Much, much better. All right. Let me get this going.
that went wide of what I meant. Hang on, Jim Jam, let me, let me cut this out real quick. Okay. No. Oh, there it is. Okay. All right. color to make that. Front row scoops. Front row. Pink. Thread this. Give me just a second. For some reason it shredded it. it. I've never seen it do that on this. Now that one does it once every once in a while. This one doesn't normally do it. we go. We got this.
there we go. Okay, now I can come over here and play. I have a question, please. How often do you change your needles? Um, I change my needles every week. It's probably overkill, and I go through 20 needles every time I do it. So I go through, I go through a pack of 100 needles every five weeks. Um, if you don't want to do it on a schedule, you will know by looking at the actual stitch, it starts to look a little feathery. Um, it's not as crisp or as clean. That's when it's time to change them. I just don't want to get started on a design and it start to be look like that. Um, I like to be proactive and um, do it that way. I like to um, just, I don't know. I like to be more careful. We just gotta get all these laid out. I'm gonna need more fabric. This is not enough fabric. I did not cut enough. I have to cut. Hi, Leticia. How are you? Does that make sense, Joy? What I what I said. Does that help at all? I just I like to get ahead of it and not have to catch up. I like to be ahead. I hope that makes sense. If not, I don't know. I don't. Yeah, I meant to cut more fabric. I did not cut nearly enough. Did not get nearly enough fabric cut. You're welcome. I hope that that made sense. So I have to change 20 needles every time I do it. And then it's probably overkill, but I change the needles in my sewing machine once a month, depending on how, how many, if I, if I continue to sew as many tutus as I do, then I'll do it every three weeks. So right now, I guess I should be, I should, make it a little easier to understand. Right now uh, I'm doing every three weeks because I make so many tutus. Um, and then my serger needles, because that holds two needles, I change every month, once a month. Actually, I don't change them. Kristen changes them for me because she is much better at it than me. She, ne I need to learn. But that's how I do it. That's how I do it. Oh, 
holy crap, every six months. I notice a difference. Um, I notice a difference after two weeks, three weeks. Um, but that's just me. I use it a lot, a lot. So I don't know if that makes a difference. I don't know if that... I used the wrong color. Used the wrong color. I change mine once a week. Um, I like the crisp, clear, clean look. Um, if I were to notice that it needed to be changed by looking at the by looking at the actual embroidery, and I would see that it needed to be changed, like I would worry because it would be like in the middle of me embroidering something and it wouldn't look right. I worry when things don't look right. And I, 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 I eliminate that worry for me by doing this. I'm a perfectionist as well. I get very mad at myself when something doesn't look like the best I could put out. I don't know if that makes any sense or not. I just like to do the best I can.
especially because a lot of my designs are very stitch heavy, um, which means they, I, well, obviously means it's got a lot of stitching on it, right? Um, so I really have to make sure it's nice and sharp in order for it to work. So yeah, we got 38 thumbs up. Holy crap. Thank you guys so much. My gratitude is real and large for this. So what are you guys, you guys have gone quiet on me again. What's going on? You guys are so quiet. Yeah, I understand it. I just feel like it's kind of weird to say, but I almost feel kind of lonely when you guys aren't talking. I get it. I get that you guys are at work and that kind of thing. It just feels a little lonely. I'm just going round and round. Where I stop, nobody knows. So I'm working on um, 4th of July. That's one thing with this kind of work. You have got to stay, in, you've got to stay a season ahead. I got a custom request yesterday for Halloween. So you never know. That's one of the reasons I leave my stuff up. People ask me, why do you leave holiday stuff up all year long? And that's why. She liked what she saw of one of my Halloween shirts and wants it a certain color. So I can do that.
Oh, get it done, Rhonda. That's awesome. Jim Jam Joy, do you have a single needle or a multi needle? Rhonda, you're so funny. Your your TikToks are good, Rhonda. I got one that has like 30 views, only 30. Got one with 67. One with 41. <laughs> The others are in the threes and fours. So there's one with 194. There's a couple that are really, really low. You just oh Jim Jam Joy. What is what Jim Jam Joy? What is your name on TikTok? Hey Monica, are you waving hi? Is that what that means? I need to find Jim Jam Joy. I try to follow all you guys and I just try to um I try to support you guys as much as you support me. I really do try. I try um I really try hard to support you guys as much as you support me because you guys support me so much. Raising my hand for TikTok. Okay, Monica and or Rhonda and Jim Jam Joy. Let me know what. Let me know, Rhonda, what are their names? Monica, I already follow you. I found you. Jim, Jim, Joy. Are you Jim, Jim, Joy? I'm following you, friend. I just followed you. I just followed you and Monica. Is anybody else? on TikTok that I can follow to do some support, some back support, because you guys support me so much. I just feel like I need to support you back. I got you guys both if you go in. So I already had already had Monica, but I got Jim Jam Joy going. I got you on there now. I really do try to support you guys. And if if there are some <clears throat> Etsy shops that I'm not following, please feel free to post the name of the Etsy shop so I can follow you. Gotcha. I'm following you now, Jim Jam. I just love saying Jim Jam. You're probably like, that's enough, but I, I just love saying it.
I just, I mean, I know Jim Jam is obviously not your name, like your real name, but I just love saying Jim Jam. It's just so cool. Is anyone on Instagram? I put the wrong color down. I was like, what the heck? Why did I do that? So we are just plowing through some shirts. If you guys are on oh, TikTok, I can't even talk. If you guys are on Instagram, throw your Instagram name in the, in the chat. I would like to make sure I'm following you and supporting you on that aspect as well. I don't do... Um, Facebook. I mean, I'll follow you on Facebook, but I don't interact on Facebook because I just, it's just too much, honestly. I just cannot keep up. So I am Sweet Threads Gifts. I know it's hard to, <laughs> but I'm Sweet Threads Gifts everywhere. Um, if you don't follow me on Instagram, if you wouldn't mind, I'm trying to grow it as well. Chick, what's shaking? Do I follow you, base chick? Let me see. I don't know if I follow you or not. Gotcha, friend. I'm following you now. If you guys could follow back, that would be fantastic. Unless you already do, and then big thank you. Thank you, Alicia. I appreciate it very much, Alicia. Oh my goodness, let me catch up with you guys. Sophie. I'm, I'm mostly French. My dad's French. Ça va.
Oh, have a great day too, Country Caboodle. Thank you so much. You're so sweet. You're so sweet. So sweet. scissors. Purple. This one just needs a number. I'll check it just a second. Let me lay this down. I hear the male person outside. That is so sweet of her to come in just to give it a thumbs up. That's what I'm talking about. You guys are just so great. I just want to be able to support you back. And then all of you support me. I am so hungry. I need to go down and get a carnation instant breakfast. That's what I need to do. That's what I need to do. That will fill me up and I won't have to eat on camera. Oh, Kristen. I forgot.
Aww. What breed do you what what breed do you breed? Please don't tell me chocolate labs. If you tell me chocolate labs, I'm gonna cry. Not really. I'm not gonna cry. Jitsu, so cute. We had a Jitsu growing up. He was black and white, um, no gray or silver, just plain black and white. And um, boy, he was a Spitfire, let me tell you. Grab some more pink. I've got this is my first one. I've got two more to make because it's for twins. So oh, we had one. His name was Golf Ball because when we brought him home, like we were my sister and I were you can imagine. We were fighting over names because we had to name them together. And then we got home, and my dad had just gotten finished playing golf. He had just gotten home. And um, the first thing he did, the puppy, was ran to the golf ball to play with it. So we named him golf ball. We had Mulligan too, <laughs> a chocolate lab. He was mine, my chocolate lab named Mulligan. He was crazy, they were crazy. Crazy puppy, I tell you. He was crazy. He ate the pool. My sister had one named Shadow. We got them both. Um, we got them both at the same time. My mom and dad went on a trip for golf, a golfing trip, and came home. There, One of the guys that they golfed with had two Chocolate Lab puppies left out of a litter, and we had lost golf ball um, about six months earlier. And my mom and dad had us come in. They got home, and we came home from the babysitters. And they had us sit down on the couch and hold out our hands like this. And they put a puppy in each of our hands, a Chocolate Lab puppy in each of our hands. They were wriggly little things. They wiggled. We named um, Mulligan, which is a golf term. And um, my sister named her Shadow. Lucas downstairs with her dad. I don't know. She, normally she comes up to say hi to me, but he might be cooking lunch. And he might have had breakfast. She's a little food girl. She loves food. another 12 minutes on that one 26 minutes on one 12 on the other we are in good good standing to make it through all of this today
so yeah, she is. She's awfully quiet. She hasn't tried to get into my trash. I guess I need to make sure that she's feeling okay. I gotta go downstairs and pick up some tool. I gotta make rainbow. Um, I don't have any made, of course. I've gotta make three rainbow tutus. So it is pretty quiet up here, I'll tell you. Terry's home um, most of the time, most of the time when he's home, she'll stay down there with him. Um, Terry is her person. She comes to me when she's scared, stuff like that, but Terry's her person. It's all right. Hang on just a second, guys. I just like having all of these laid out and ready to roll. It just makes it so much easier. It makes it so much easier to just pop on and be done. I do need some new hoops. I need, I'm just gonna have to wait to buy them. Um, I need a 725 and nine by eight. A nine by six or whatever that size, I have to look and see. The small skinny one, um, those are the ones I really, and an eight by 13, those are the ones I really need. Buying one a month right now, so just gotta budget it. Just gotta do a budget, you know. Trying to keep up with everything up here. It's super nice and, and put together right now. Um, it's nice and organized, except for my closet. But my closet is because um, my closet is because um, right now in the floor of the closet is um, 
all of the fabric that needs to be heat and bonded. So when that's done. What three did you get on eBay, Carol? You're fine. Don't stress. You just walk, 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 walk. Continue walking. It's so good for you. I understood what you wanted or what you said. You're good. Oh, sweet. No, you're fine. Out of, I'm out of breath every time I walk on the treadmill. <laughs> we'll feel bad. We got each other. We're in good company. All right. Can you guys hold on one second while I run to use the restroom? I drink all that coffee and two waters and I'm going to get a, uh, something to eat. I'll be right back.
Terry made me some, made him and I some lunch, but I get some of it. with you guys. Um, I, I don't know that I'd be afraid of that, Jim Jam. Jim Jam, you are on Facebook. Come join this group. So, Kathy, I sent you. She will answer any questions you could possibly have. And there, that is, that group is a wealth of information. Luke is up here now because I have food. get it. But that is, if anybody has Mighty Hoops or a multi-needle machine, that is, there is a wealth of information in that, an absolute wealth. I do not. Um, I don't. I mean, I could. I'm going to finish eating this pasta before I bring anything up here, any shirts up here.
Dude, I waited so long for my multi needle, and then I got super swamped and could not keep up. I was running my single needle as well, and then I just knew it was time. What multi needle are you looking at? Do you have a goal for your multi needle? Is there like a goal you're working towards? Because that's what I did. I work towards goals. I love my brothers. I have the 1055 PRX. Um, I wanted to reach a certain amount of sales on Etsy and I wanted to make a certain amount of money off of Etsy and that's what I did because I didn't want to spend that much money on a multi-needle and then have my business tank. Like I wanted to make sure that it was necessary and that I could afford it. Those were my goals. Hi, Lupu. Well, that's not true. I have one more. I was wrong.
Okay. Uh, don't worry about that. If you need help with that, um, just reach out and um, I'll help if I can. I'm, I'm dead serious. Find me, find me on Facebook Messenger, and I will be more than happy. I'll be more than happy to help you. More than happy, whatever I can do to help, because I know what it's like. If I hadn't had Pam or Angela, either one, there's no way I'd be. There's just no way I'd be where I am today because of them. I would not. be where I am. So I really like to play it, play it, blah, 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 pay it forward. Um, I'm so grateful to those who helped me. So I try to pay it forward to help somebody else the way they helped me. Um, because honestly and truthfully, I got that right. I just want to pay it ahead, you know, pay it forward the way somebody helped me. Like the other day I was at Starbucks and behind me in Starbucks was a, a cop car. So I asked the cashier how much his bill was. It was like $12 and change. So I just paid for as a thank you. You know, I asked her, I said, please tell them thank you for their service and let me pay for their drinks are on me today. And she did. And, you know, they'll never know who it was. So, you know. They put their lives on the line for us every day. They should be thanked. It's just, I don't know. It's just my opinion. That and apparently $20 when you buy other people's stuff will buy you um, yours and a cop's coffee. Totally worth it. Totally worth it. Um, I don't know. It was, it was worth it to me. Um, I'm thankful. You know, I was in a situation twice in Orlando with somebody breaking into our house when we lived in Orlando. Um, and the cops got there and took care of everything. And, you know, thankful. I'm very thankful for cops police officers, however you want to say it, popos, all of it. I'm thankful to them. Grateful. Very grateful.
is not even, not even close to being even. There we go, that's even. Even Steven. All right, I gotta come stare at you guys. <laughs> oh, let me catch up. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry, Rhonda. All right, guys, I gotta stare at you again. I'm sorry. I messed up a name. It's supposed to be, it's a long story. It's supposed to be rainbow name and I didn't do it to where I can put the rainbow name in, so. Give me just a second. I'm going to have to stare you down. Stare all you beautiful people down. Give me just one, one second. Here it is. Okay, give me just one second, guys. I'm sorry. <sighs> Can't believe I did that. Delete. It is E I L E E I L. E I L E E N. E I L. E E N. All right.
we go. No, I'm gonna do this part. we go let me get it let me try this one again see if I fixed it correctly let me lay that down So do you guys pay it forward? And if you do, how did you do, how do you do it? I'm just curious. I mean, I know like it's totally optional, obviously, but I try to, I really do try. I try to be a good human. Not that that makes it a good, no, not that that makes you a good human because it doesn't, but I just try the, my best, the best I can do. yellow, green, blue, purple. Did I do that right?
random acts of kindness, so do I. I think it's, um, and I don't think paying it forward is necessarily financially given or financially done. Um, I was just in a place that I could actually do that, you know, the other day. Um, some days I can't. It's that simple. Some days I cannot, um, but some days I can. So I um, totally forgot where I was going with that. I mean, it's gone. Here comes Luca. I can hear her pitter-patter up the stairs. Hi, baby. Um, but I do, like, like if I'm in Joanne's and I have an extra coupon, I'll give it to the person behind me in line or behind me in the cutting counter. Um, you know, stuff like that. Um, I try to help everybody that I can. If I, if I know something that somebody else needs to know that they ask me, I will share. Um, I just, I try to just pay it forward and I try to, I try to help, you know, I just, this world is so lousy right now that random acts of kindness go a long, long, long way. They go a long way. So, you know, and there are so many different ways to do it. So many different ways. And it, it the it's not always strangers. You know, you don't have to do random acts of kindness only on strangers. You can do it to people you know. Same here. Sam, hi. Hope you're having a fantastic day, my friend. I hope you are. I'm a, I'm a fixer. My family calls me the fixer and not like the sad, fi not like the fixer that like fixes crimes. Not like that. But they call me the fixer because I come in and try to fix every situation. If I see somebody struggling, I can't not do everything in my power to help. I just can't do it. 
It's not who I am. <clears throat> it's just not who I am. I can't, when I have the ability to help somebody, I can't just sit back and watch somebody suffer. Even somebody I don't like. You know, it's just, it's just who I am. I can't. I'm really good in a situation where somebody needs help. Um, like if my family or somebody needs help, I'm, I'm the first one to jump in and be like, here. And I'm good at it. I don't mean I'm not tooting my own horn by any stretch of the means, but I'm good at helping. I'm good at fixing situations. Now, nothing serious, like burying a body or anything like that. Though if my best friends or my somebody in my family calls me and says we had to bury a body, I'll, I'll be the first one there. But it's not the norm. Right. We're getting so much done today. Me too. Do you like take on your friend's stress too? Hey, Angela. Welcome in, friend. Um, do you feel like they're stressed really easily? Because I do. Like when one of my friends is stressed out, I automatically stress with her. Do you do that too? Same. Does your heart like hurt for people that are like in a bad situation that they can't control? Like homeless people? Um, my heart. I almost cry. <laughs> Literally. It hurts my heart so bad I almost cry. carry cash like dollars not not anything huge just dollars and I usually this won't tell you way too much about me but I usually carry like granola bars and bottles of water um and I'll give a homeless person that and a couple of bucks because they're hungry it's not a lot but it's got to help some right
Yep, I have a stand friend. Same way. I don't, I don't have kids, obviously. I have Luca, but Luca has no, no idea. Well, thank you, Sam. You're sweet. Sam, you've got a good heart, too. Don't you ever forget that. You're a good human. Don't you dare doubt that, my love. Ever. I adored you before I met you. And now that we're, we've met, I just think you're the best. We know each other. I know for a fact you're the best. Don't you forget it. You're good, Angela. Don't you stress. I just got used to it um, just working on, like at work, we had to do a lot of social media stuff. Um, and I learned just typing out social media, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, mostly mo in the times we were open, mostly Instagram and Facebook. Um, but once we, you know, once TikTok became a real thing, we did TikTok too. So I learned how to 
type and type fast. Type and type fast. Oh, thanks, Sam. Looks like it's going to rain, you guys. Only got four more shirts to do. Plus what's on. So four and a half. Or we'll say five because there's two halves. So four brand new ones and two halves. Halfway done. Luca's just laying over there staring at my food. <laughs> I didn't eat it all. I'm working. Haven't sewn a single blanket. <laughs> Not a single blanket. <laughs> have to cut more pink and more peach. Candles, that sounds like fun. Red, orange, yellow. Luca, we're on yellow. Is that so exciting? I bet it smells good in your house. It's looking for my drink. Thank you guys so much for the thumbs up. We're at 42. Thank you. I'm amazed every live. Absolutely amazed every single live. Let me go put this back. So I've got one more to make after this, and I just don't have enough fabric. 
because it's a rainbow, so it takes up like it's like longer than it is taller, and it's the pink and orange, pink and peach and yellow, like maize color. They take big pieces because they're the first ones. This is for the triplets. You know, that's like the million dollar question is how do you get customers on Etsy? Um, I think that you just, I don't know if I knew I'd have more orders. <laughs> I just wait for them. I do advertising. I do Etsy plus I do advertising. I try to keep the star seller, which right now I don't have. It's a long story. Etsy really got me. Um, and there, I fought against it. It doesn't matter. I can't win it. Um, when you're a star seller and um, see you later, Rhonda. We might still be here. We've been doing it for four and a half hours. There's no telling how much longer we're going to do it for. Probably another four hours or so. <laughs> Maybe three. Um, Etsy Plus, advertising and star seller. Those are the only things I know. That's the only, that's all I know. And I'm sorry that it's not, it's probably not a good answer, but I don't want to lie to you and tell you something that's untrue. Um, you know. I don't know. I, if I knew, I'd have a lot more orders. I hope that that makes sense. I don't know that there is an, an equation that will do it, to be honest with you. I don't know. It's it's not easy. Um, a lot of hoping and a lot of positive thought thinking and a lot of praying and, you know, it's just, I don't think that there is any magical... Formula. That's the word I was looking for was formula. Yay, Jim Jam. I'm never going to call you by your first name. I'm always going to, like Princess Pantaleone. I like saying her name. And Bon Bon. It's not her name either. But I, I love saying it. And I'll call them, I'll call them that forever just because I love saying it. I just like saying Jim Jam.
That is so exciting that they're all done for you. So I need yellow, I need peach, yellow, peach, yellow, orange, yellow, got green, got green, got green. So I need peach and yellow. Hold it just with that. Yeah, little pieces of fabric, pieces of fabric spreads all over me. Since I've opened my Etsy shop, I'd say the names of the rainbows more, the names of the colors in the rainbow more than I ever thought I would ever do in my entire life. I'm so afraid of messing it up. So afraid I'm going to mess it up. say it so much. Hi, Ollie. Ollie, your package is going out. I thought it was going to go out in today's mail, but I missed today's mail, so it's going out in tomorrow's. Did I give you, um, I can't remember, did I give you your tracking number? I can't remember if I gave you your tracking number or not. hope I did. And then I've got one more order for ribbons that I've got to um, send out. Person still making up their mind.
Okay, good. <laughs> no, they'll be out in tomorrow's mail. I've got um, the way things are going today. So I've got to make some. I've got to make three tutus that I have to cut still. Um, this is why I try to get. This is why I get my orders done early because I'm not going to be able to make it most likely to the post office in three and a half hours with everything. So I'll schedule a pickup, and we'll go from here. Of course there's a rush. There's always a rush. When I do things, I want them rushed. I want it out there. I want you to get it. Lay these down. Ew. Yuck. What kind of dog is it? Hopefully it's not a really big dog and you can scrub them fairly easy. Hopefully it's not a big, big dog. Probably is a big dog. Big dogs love to do that kind of thing. I'm hoping for you it's a small dog so it's easier to bathe. Oh, that's, that could be a lot worse. Luca weighs more than that. Luca weighs 65. She's she up here. Well, hopefully, fingers crossed, it won't be that bad. Okay. <laughs> uh. 
I don't blame you, Ollie. Not a bit do I blame you on that. <laughs> we used to get those dogs that would come in and their owner, like, to get a bath and had rolled around and stuff like that. And it was like, uh, you want to touch them. That's why, one of the reasons why, not the only reason, but one of the reasons why I always kept an extra uniform, like jeans and a t-shirt, the t-shirts we wore to work um, in the back of my car, along with an extra pair of sh pant, um, shoes and socks. I also kept bra and panties, um, underwear, excuse me, whatever you want to call it, whatever. I hope that didn't offend anybody. Um, but um, because dogs, you know how much I love dogs, right? You guys know. Obviously, I love them a lot. They, they, um, I built a business around them, and I treat mine like some people treat their human babies because they are my babies. I'm their mama and I'm responsible for it, for all their needs and, you know, they can't talk. Um, but dogs are gross. I don't care what anybody says. Dogs are gross. So I always kept extra clothes. Because <laughs> you never knew. You never know. Things could happen. And they could happen so fast. You wouldn't know. never know. So I was all like, I'm the one that tried like, okay. Growing up, I was not prepared for anything. I was the one that always left my schoolwork behind. I panicked when I didn't have what I needed because I never had it what I needed because I was constantly, um, <laughs> constantly, um, like behind the ball, the eight ball, trying to find my stuff and panicking because I couldn't and I never had anything together. And then when I was in college, my junior and senior year of college, I had a professor my junior year of college that was like, get your act together. Like he was just in my face about it. Get it together. And since then I'm prepared for, I'm prepared. I'm a preparer. It's part of why I put my, my, um, My order's out so early. That and the five-star reviews you get when you do that. Yes, the gland issues are disgusting. I had to work some really gross stuff. 44 thumbs up. Holy moly. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Thank you. Truly so much. That's there's so that's so many thumbs up. So many thumbs up. I'm so excited. They are, and they're so lovey. I mean, don't get me wrong. We had some nightmare dogs. Don't get me wrong. We had our share of nightmare dogs.
there was one time two brothers, they got into a fight outside. They were, um, they could not play with other dogs. Um, not because we said so, because the mom didn't want them playing with other dogs, which is fine. People chose that all the time. So we had them out. Terry was actually working with us that day. Um, he had a day off of work or something and we were short staffed and he was kind enough to come in and help. And um, the two brothers, they were pit bulls. You guys know I have, Luca is a pit bull, so I've got nothing against pit bulls. Nothing against pit bulls at all. Um, but they got into it. And I, by the time Terry, I got out to Terry, because I was all the way up front with the customer. The time I got out to Terry, it was so bad. They were locked up, teeth in each other's muscles. Terry was covered in blood. There was blood everywhere. And when I first got out there, I thought Terry had been hurt and that was Terry's blood. I've never run so fast in my life. It took a bus five to get them separated five and we we have to do it very carefully because they're snapping at each other and they're in each other's skin and you, you, nothing's going to keep them from coming out and snapping you you know so i got the girls out of the way and i worked with the faces while they worked with the bodies because i'm not going to have i wasn't going to have my girls working with where they could possibly get bit if i'm there then i'm i was going to be the one that got bit not one of them um but it took what felt like forever to get them separated. It was still, that's when, when that happened, that's when I knew I was done. And I know that sounds horrible, but I knew I was done. I couldn't, my heart, I, my heart was broken. Um, but later on, the moms did tell us that they had been fighting each other and they needed, she didn't want to pay the extra room because there's only, you get a 25%, you got a 25% discount if you, the two or three or four, if you do up to four, um, shared the same room. She didn't want to buy a separate room and not get that 25% discount. And they shouldn't have walked together. Um, if we would have known that, if we would have known, if the customer had been honest with us, and if it were that big of a deal to her to keep them safe, I still would have given her 25% off and put them in separate rooms. But it was, that's when I knew I was done. That's just when I knew I couldn't do it anymore. And it was like five, six weeks later, we made the decision to close. Just couldn't do it. We couldn't, we couldn't do, if the customers weren't honest, we couldn't, we could we didn't know what to do. Um, it was just, customers were lying to us left and right and putting us at risk. Couldn't do it anymore. Customers would lie to your face. So, you know, it is what it is. You got the good and you got the bad. A lot more good than bad, though. A lot more good than bad. At 31 minutes on this one and one minute on this one. And then I'm going to switch them out. Well, I got three left. I would be held responsible. Absolutely. But the owner... I mean, we had to take them to the vet. It was that bad. They were ripped open. And um, the customer paid the vet bill. The customer came and got them, came home early from her vacation. And um, no. She tried to get out without paying, too. And I was like, no, ma'am, you owe for that.
I'm thinking if I get done with these, maybe I should start on the ones I want to get out tomorrow. What do you guys think about that? You guys want to stay with me and work on tomorrow's too? Because after this one, I only have two left. Aw. Well, thanks, Monica. Hopefully he buys one. We might still be going when you're done if you want to come back and hang with us. We might still be going. You never know. <laughs> you never know. Fingers crossed. Hi, Leslie. Girlfriend, I am just so thankful to see you. I literally am so thankful to see you. All these little hairs around my face are itching me. I've got like lots of like little baby fine hairs that are growing in and um, they're itching my face. <laughs> Ollie, I'm trying. Just working through them, y'all. We're just working through them. My phone finally charged. Not all the way, but enough to where it's okay.
This one shifted. This one did a shift, so I've got to redo it. That's okay. Thank goodness I caught it before it was over. I can still fix it really well. Bye, Ollie. Maybe we'll still be here when you're done. You never know what the day has planned until you're in it. Leslie, talk to me, Goose. I know you're sleepy. I know you're sleepy. She has. She's been working with me for a couple of weeks now. Um, right now we're playing catch up with all the stuff that I've let slide. Like I've been heat and bonding. I've, I have been heat and bonding just in case anybody was concerned. <laughs> um, but I was heat and bonding a little piece here and a little piece there as I needed it. And, um, Lauren has gone, we've gone through my fabric and grabbed everything that needed to be heat and bond, heat and bonded multiple pieces of each one. Um, Got all my stabilizer cut, got all my tender touch cut. Um, we got this place immaculate. Minus the closet. <laughs> Minus the closet. Um, so, you know, working on it. Let me lay this down real quick. Hold on. Okay. So we got the clo um, the closet actually done, except for all there. There's a bunch of, um, there's a bunch of fabric in the bottom, in the floor right now, because um, Lauren's got to heat and bond it all. I've got to cut it. She's going to heat and bond it. I cut it. Um, and then once I get that cut up, I need to put it up. Um, but we went through all of my minky, all of my scraps. Um, the, the pit, uh, you know, separated out Joanne's versus Shannon. Um, cause Shannon is, um, is so much softer, so much nicer. It's just higher quality. It's less expensive when you buy it by the bolt actually from Shannon, which is what I do. Um, I have 31 volts of different fabric colors, different minky colors um, that I use in the baby shop. Oh, I don't have a baby shop anymore. I, I, swear I put it all together because I got tired of paying double for everything. Um, 
we rearranged up here some. Um, we redid every last, all of the ribbons are organized. That was hell on earth. There was so much of it to do. Um, and if you guys are looking for ribbon, just let me know. I've got extras. <laughs> I've got a few extras. Um, and I, I ship the cheapest way possible and it's a lot, a lot less expensive than BB crafts and all that. So, you know, but no, I, in fact, let me check. Cause I check every single day. Mike Walmart has not had it like Pam's. Nope, 3875. Nope, it's still 3875, which is still less expensive. But Pam was kind enough to, I got a, a mail uh, Saturday in the mail. Pam sent me one. And I told her, I was like, if you find it again, order me five. I'll PayPal you and I'll just pick it up when I come up there in June. You know, I'll just pick it up in June. Mine is 35 Hold on. Thirty-eight seventy-five. I'm gonna hold it like this because it's got my address at the top. You can see it's thirty-eight seventy-five right now, which is it saves me. It says twenty-one twenty-five, so I'm I don't need it because Pam just sent me one. I'm not going to buy another one anytime soon unless they're $1.97 like hers were. So to the south of here, um, it looks really bad. Like there's like it's gonna rain pretty good and hard. So all right, these are almost that one's on the rainbow's almost done. Yeah, $70.99. Mine says it was originally like, well, I don't know, $60, $65, $70, somewhere in there. Um, but I've got three bolts now. I bought two at the, when it was on sale on Amazon at $35. I went ahead and bought two because that was half off. And then Pam sent me one and I've got one that's open right now. So I've got three that are unopened. I just keep a close eye on prices. Like I watch things like a hawk on Amazon and at like Joann's and Hobby Lobby. I don't buy anything unless it's on sale, anything. Except for like BB Crafts and actually at BB Crafts, I'll order it when it's on sale. Uh, Gifts International is never on sale. <laughs> so I can't say that I buy stuff from Gifts International and on sale um bb crafts i do because they, they run the 15 or 20 percent off sale every once in a while like right now it's going on i think today is the last day of it um i i just not in this this is not a hobby this is actually a business and it needs to be run like a business and if i can get something for less expensive then i'm going to Ooh, karen 
Just finished playing Easter Bunny. Aww. Aww, that's so sweet. Yeah, I think mine's 3875 too. Let me, ch I can't, I already can't remember. 3875. Yeah, same thing, Leslie, same here. Now, if I didn't have any, if I were needing some, I would order it at the $38 because that's still like 30 bucks cheaper than what I normally pay. But I do, I check twice a day. I check first thing in the, well, not first thing in the morning, but sometimes in the morning and then in the afternoon. And then all jokes aside, I truly will buy in bulk. I don't have children, so I don't know, you know, what it's like. I have a niece and nephew that are, I call my babies. Um, and I'm over there all the time and I'm in their lives really, really heavily in their lives. Um, so, you know, I am extremely heavily in their lives. And like yesterday I was at, I was there for Easter, my nephew's birthday, my birthday. Um, you know what I mean? We just... My sister is very good about sharing her children with us. Aww. <laughs> Oh, Karen, that's a good age. My niece is 10 and my nephew just turned six. And it's like when my niece, like from birth to like seven or eight was super snuggly, had to always be touching you, super cuddly, just, oh, just the best. And now she's like 10 and it's like, when she hugs me, I'm just like, I tell her every time, I'm like, hug me like you mean it. Like you mean it. Hug me like you mean it. <laughs> oh no, Leslie, at six and five? That makes me so sad. That makes me so sad. I mean, it's it's her call. She's the mama, but still, that's, that's just sad. Ten minutes and 33 minutes.
Oh no, that makes me hurt for them. That makes me so sad. That makes me so sad for them. Is it too bright behind me? For those, of, if you guys are watching, like, and not listening, if you're actually just watching, if you're, <laughs> I can't even talk, if you're watching, um, is it too bright behind me? I can lower those. I just wanted some fresh, bright air, bright air, bright light. If it's too bright, um, let me know and I'll close them up. I feel like there's a glare. I feel like I need to close them. We, get, we got rain coming in from this side. I wanted to watch it. Is it bothering anyone? Well, if it's bothering you guys, I'm going to close it. Let's do this. Is that better? Is that okay? All right. I just don't want you guys to have a less than excellent experience. to stare you down for just a second. I'm sorry. You guys know I hate doing this to you. Oh, I love you, Leslie. I do. I absolutely just, I just love you. All right, I'm almost done, guys. Give me just a second. I'm I'm shipping stuff right now that has to be shipped out today, and that way I can see. Um, Almost done, guys. I'm sorry.
Okay. Okay, got it done. I got it done. All right. So, 46. Holy crap. Holy cow. How's that? Instead of crap, holy cow. minutes on this one and 25 on this one so after this I only have two shirts to do so I was looking We have two that are supposed to ship out tomorrow. They're both tutu outfits. I have both tutus already made. I have to unplug you guys. going to iron these out like put the creases down the middle so I can hoop them and I'm going to go ahead these are already made um, they're already designed and it's only three of them so I'm going to go ahead and get them done and get them out of here um, they're not due out until the two tomorrow and one the 13th so
All right, guys. I oops, still up. Um, I'm gonna run and go to the bathroom real quick. I've had far too many drinks. <laughs> so Leslie, you're in charge. Have fun. I'll be right back. So Carol's still here. We got 24 people here. So there should be should be some people here. Let me go ahead and heat press these. So just a second, I'll be right back. Right. Yeah, there's a lot just listening, and that's that's fine. That happens a lot. A lot of people watch while they're working. Perfectly fine by me, as long as everybody's having a good time. Okay. 
Oh, shoot. I forgot I was doing this. Okay. Hey, Chris, how are you? How are you? So good to see you talking. So good to see you.
that one's going. Hanging in there. Oh, no, you're fine. I just truly appreciate the support. Like, you guys don't have to talk. You don't even have to be here. But those of you that choose to be here, you don't have to talk. You really don't. I appreciate it so much, the support of you guys just being here. Like, it, I can't tell you how much it means. Like, I truly can't. So it's greatly, 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 greatly appreciated. So we've been doing this for five hours and 40 minutes. That's a long time. <laughs> That's a long time. I hear you, Linda. It's nice to see you guys commenting, though. I really, I do appreciate it. I really do appreciate it. It's very much appreciated. You guys know I just talk while I'm working. <laughs> okay, that one's done. Where are these? Let's get it. Where are they? Give me just one second. I'm going to go grab some boots. too short sleeve. So I'm not going to need this. really need another coffee. But I'm going to switch to water. In fact, I'm going to grab one. I 
lot of water. First one of the day, and it's already two o'clock. It's not good. That's my third. Sorry. Four and a half more to go. Okay, Monica. <laughs> Me too, friend. I'm still here. I can't do this anymore. Hold on. so much better <laughs> that's so much better i had to every time i looked up all i saw was like halo and like brightness and if it was hurting my eyes on just watching it on my computer um i know it had to have been hurting nerves we can't be having that can't be having that I have to change a lot of threads out. Y'all are going to see me just making weird noises. Um, Y'all are going to see, um, you see me? <laughs> uh, Y'all are going to see uh, me change a lot of threads because I have to do a primary color rainbow. So, you know, we'll do it. made a mistake. Hang on. Okay. Did I really truly mess this up? Or did I, what did I do? Why is it making that noise? All right, home chicken here has got to go priority. She paid for priority shipping. She gets priority. T 
Tiffany Little. Oh, I, I can't believe I just said that. Sorry, guys. I should not should not be saying that. Customers' names out loud. I should not be saying that. I apologize. Okay, we got that done. That works. We got that done. All right. Okay, sorry I was having to... No, it was the light, my friend. I'm sorry. All my shipping labels, those are all done. Twelve eighteen month body suit. What is the name on this one? Liliana.
Hold on, I gotta get one to see. <laughs> Okay, sorry. That one truly requires a lot of concentration and um, it's long, so. So no, 48 thumbs up, you guys. <laughs> it, seriously, like, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Truly, thank you. up with you guys. Oh, you guys are still where you are? Okay. <laughs> First, you thought it was your eyes were blurry. No, it was just the, it was like, um, it was really bright. When I first opened them a little bit, it was cloudy. So I thought it would be not as harsh, but it was pretty harsh. So, you know.
Oh, Monica, I wish you could too. It's TikTok. You can, if you're live on TikTok, you can hit that, boom, tap that screen until your fingers are blue. Um, but it's okay. They just make me, <laughs> it's so, it's just so hokey, but it makes me so happy. They make me so happy. I'm trying so hard, so hard to keep everything putting. I'm not a good putter upper. I'm a good stacker. Like I'm done with it. 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 And now I'm trying to put it up while I go. Where are you trying to add it to, Linda? Trying to add your business name to what? You have to go to um I at one time knew how to do this. Anybody listening right now, anybody in lurking around, can y'all maybe talk Linda through how to do that? She needs to change her um her name on YouTube to her business name. And I don't know how to, I don't remember how to go in and, and change it. Does anybody else know how to do that? That can help her out. Uh, 
Um, I know when I started mine, I started it with this name, but I think that there is a way to edit it. I just don't remember what it is. Maybe somebody who's, who's listening will know how to do it. figured it out. If I had a channel, if you have a channel, you can add your business. Let me check. Okay. Thanks, Monica. I, I honestly don't know how to, Linda. I would tell you in a heartbeat if I knew how. I just don't know how to do it. I'm sorry. The only thing I can think of is um, no, that doesn't make sense at all. That makes less than less than any sense, honestly. What I was thinking, not what you guys said, but what I was thinking makes no sense. figure it out, Monica. I wish I knew. I wish I knew.
if that works. Oh, Monica is talking. Click customization on the left menu. Click basic info tab at the top. Under the channel name and description header, click the pencil icon. This gives you the option to change or add to your current name. Don't forget to click publish to save. Thank you, Monica. Are you gonna be able, hopefully Linda, that'll work, um, that you'll be able to get it to work. I'm sure that it's, I'm sure that Everything Monica has said is 100% true and can help. Thanks, Monica. It definitely helps a minute, Monica. Thank you so much. <laughs> My hair is impossible. It's too long for anything right now. It's too, see it, push. Too long. I can't get it to stay up. This is the part where I get like really irritated with it and want to chop it all off. And then I see somebody with really long, pretty hair and I'm like, oh, that's so pretty. Why did I cut mine off? things back as I get used to them. Hi, Quinn. Do we call you Grammy? What do we call you, Love Grammy's creations? Monica, you are a treasure trove of information and help. <laughs> Linda, that's going to take me forever to remember that. <laughs> I, already, I already messed up calling you something else. I didn't even recognize it. I'm so sorry. My face is so red. I'm so embarrassed. I should have known better than that. <laughs> It's 
gonna be loud. Let me take it over here and do it. Okay, we're gonna do a 3T short sleeve. Let's see what we got here. 3T short sleeve. This is for Nala. All right. I hate turning my back on you guys. I always feel so bad. I always feel bad turning my um my back on you guys. Makes I feel sad. I feel like you think I'm ignore like you might think I'm ignoring you. And I'm not. There we go. Of course I'm, yes, Linda, that's so much better. <laughs> to me being so selfish. <laughs> that's so much better. I'm just gonna, I will, I'll get used to it. It's not, you know, you shouldn't do something because of me, but it does help a lot. I've got most everybody, like the regulars that come in, I've got them all set in my head. 
but it might take a little bit of time to get used to you being, are you, did they call you Grammy, your, your grandchildren? I ask is because we um, we called my my mom's mom Grammy. Um, she was just the very best. She was the best grandmother you could ever ask for. She was at all of our events. She would come and pick us up from school we were sick and didn't feel good or if we were just struggling in school that day we knew we could call her like if we were being teased or bullied too hard um, we knew that if we called our mom our mom would say you're not sick stay at school you know what I mean and um, but we knew if we called Grammy she'd come get us every time and she'd take us to Burger King and get a hamburger and french fries and a big old coke she knew we'd be hungry and she always knew that the majority of the time she picked us up we weren't sick so we were going to be hungry <laughs> she was just oh she was an amazing human absolutely an amazing human i miss her terribly she would be so proud of me right now because i'm sewing and doing crafty stuff she would be so proud she just wasn't around long enough to see this come to fruition. Um, but she was a sewer. She was a seamstress. Uh, not a seamstress, but she sewed. And uh, she passed it on to me. She was the best. Hey, Kathleen, welcome back. Angela, I will, I will, because your name's in it, I will get it. Pappy is, we, I never had a grandfather. So I never had anybody to, like, I never had a grandfather. My mom's dad had um, a disease that's very similar to Lou Gehrig's disease. Um, in fact, he was diagnosed with Lou Gehrig's disease, and that's how he ended up dying, was his body just shut down. Um, and then my dad's father was dead before I was born. So I never had a grandfather. Alicia.
Um, I am on a candy, the last candy land right now. And um, it was actually scheduled to ship out in the, I don't know what date anymore. I've already put the thing up, but I'm going ahead and going ahead and getting like there. I'm trying to, since I've, it's already three o'clock. Um, I'm probably not going to make it to the post office today. I will schedule a pickup for them to pick up tomorrow. Um, but I'm just going to go ahead since I'm on a roll and just plow through whatever I can. That's the goal to just plow through whatever I can. Until Terry comes up and says, hey, what's for dinner? And the answer will be, I don't know. I didn't take anything out. That will be the answer. I didn't take anything out for dinner. Maybe we can just have lunch leftovers because that pasta was that he made was really good. Made a really good pasta. Terry's an amazing cook. You guys don't even know. He's so good. And he makes like some like Chinese dishes that are off the charts amazing. Like he makes kung pao chicken. That is so good. Makes Korean barbecue short ribs. They're so good. Everything is just so delicious. He's a good cook. So, yep, I've got a Candyland going right now. This is, we're about a third of the way through with it. About a third of the way through. Uh, my husband's Chinese. He was born in Taiwan. So he does, he is, uh, he's very Chinese. <laughs> and my in-laws are awesome. They sang happy birthday to me over the phone on my birthday. That was really cool. It was really cool. So yeah, it's, um, he's Chinese. I'm French. Yes, ma'am, I ate. I, I didn't eat a lot, but I did get some in me.
<laughs> They're all done. There's 12 of them sitting there. 12. I am so thrilled that I got all of these done. I'm so thrilled. I like making tutus. I enjoy it. But I mean, that's just me. I think it's great. Um, it's it calms my nerves. Like it, the only thing I the one thing I really don't like about it is cutting them. Other than that, it's perfectly fine by me. My dad's French. His blood is French. He himself is not. I mean, he is, but he doesn't speak French or anything like that. He doesn't identify as French. I took a DNA test and I'm all French. A lot of French, not all French, but I'm a lot of French. So other than what are right on the machines, I only have two more left. Let me take a look and see. Give me just one second. I got to stare at you guys.
Kristen got this. We got this. See, my glasses are kind of like octagons. Actually, they'd be one, two, three, four, five, six. I don't know what a six is, but it's got six sides. <laughs> They're dirty right now. I need to clean them, but I don't have my cleaner up here. It's kind of... They're dirty. <laughs> I can see a lot better than right now. Oh, we got 51 thumbs up. Wow. That just makes takes my breath away that there's so many of them. It just uh, makes my day. You guys don't even know. <laughs> thank you so much. All of you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. shirt how long does your machine take to stitch out with a single needle mine a single needle will take forever um my candy land is an hour and 15 because it's got 70 something steps like 72 steps um but i've got some that are over like in 20 and then i've got some that are like 45 to 50 so i always say about an hour We say about an hour. It's a lot more streamlined when you have a multi needle, Alicia. So much more streamlined. Sweet talk, whoever you got a sweet talk, it's worth it. <laughs> and I think the month I don't I don't know for a fact because I bought mine outright. I paid cash for both of mine, but um, I think. As long as you put a good chunk down, I don't think that the monthly payments are huge. Yeah, you may want to wait just a minute on that one. <laughs>
Okay, we gotta look, gotta do a look. All right, give me just one second. Let me start laying down this stuff. This has got to... Girlfriend, do not apologize. Have you heard me? I talk so much. Don't you dare apologize for that. This should be a place where everybody can just be themselves. And if you're a talker, talk away. Keep me company. Oh, I hear you, Alicia. <laughs> I'm not a stay at home mom, but I'm a stay at home person. Like I like staying at home. So when I get out, I'm just like, oh, people, 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 people. And then when you guys are on here, I'm like, people, more people. Makes me so happy <laughs> to, to be able to talk. Oh, that's awesome, Monica. That's awesome. I think my next one might be a six needle. I don't really know. Um, I don't know that I need another 10 needle. Um, we'll see. I'll probably get a 10 needle because I like things to match. <laughs>
There are so many shit breads. Holy macaroni. Just waiting for a text message from my sister. You know what, I'm fixing the track well. Yeah. Oh, goodness, let me catch up. Oh, Etsy shop in April 2022 and bought my multi needle in May 2022. Yep. P800 in my. It, it's hard. I did it while I was still working within multi, with a single needle, and it was it was rough. I am not the girl to talk to, Alicia. I know nothing, nothing about Rakomas. Um, Kayla Creechy, guys, find her on, um, let me find her. Ooh. I can't do it right now. My computer won't let me because I'm doing this. Um, her name's Kayla Creechy with a K. She has two Rakomas and loves them, loves them. So maybe um, ask her, like hit her up on YouTube for on one of her messages, like leave her a comment on one of her vlogs. Um, and her vlogs are very Rakoma heavy. Uh, they help a lot. Like she is a she's an excellent resource, an absolutely excellent resource. I yep, I hear you. Only bad part about using um, Mighty Hoops and scissors is it goes, it like, it tries to eat your scissors because they're it's magnetic, obviously, right? So it's trying to get your mag your metal scissors. <laughs> it just goes right to it. So.
I might even do the ones now that are that are due out on Friday. I might as well go ahead and get them done if I'm sitting here and working. I got all the tutus made. So you need yours by the 17th, right? I'm going to get yours out. I'm going to, um, as soon as I get these two done, like the two, I've got two on the hoops and then I've got two more sitting here that need to go out before yours. Obviously, I mean, I just printed them, but I'm, um, printing yours now. I'm going to get yours done after these two. These ones, two T, twelve, fourteen, and twelve months. Short sleeve, short sleeve, short sleeve, short sleeve. So I need a two, a twelve month, a two, a ten, and a fourteen. A twelve and a fourteen. Did I say ten. A twelve and a fourteen. I knew that in my head. I did. Two T. to design these ones out. Get this one done. I'm going to have to design yours out. Because um, I feel bad. I don't want to um, leave you guys hanging and just stare at the computer while I do it. I'm going to go ahead and get your shirts prepped. And what I'll try to do is... Um, I'll try to get them done tomorrow before the mail runs here. Um, if not, they'll go out the next day. And I put on there to put a number 10 on it. Oh, I know you're not, but if I can get them out, girlfriend, I'm, I'm so honored. If I can get them out, I need to get them out. make it play it. 
And then I have one more candy land after this one. So oh, that means I did five today. No, I did more than that. I don't remember. I feel like I'm in a fog. I don't remember. Do you want, um, Alicia, do you want to choose a different um, body and a different color, like a different colors for these? If you don't like that one perfectly, I can change anything on it for you. Anything. Um, I'll take a picture of what I have available as far as the mermaid scales. And if you want to pick a different one, you feel free to if you don't want, because I know that's the only one of that one that I have up. Um, but I have a whole bunch more to choose from. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take pictures and send them to you. And then if you like them, um, if you like a certain one better, you just let me know and we'll do it. Okay. Let me, let me start taking pictures for you. And you are not bothering me at all, so do not think that. Let's do it this way. It's just the bobbin. It's just the bobbin. I get nervous. Um, I have some made, but they are not listed yet. They're part of my my samples that have gone. I have like 60 samples to to do. Alicia, check your, your um, Facebook. There you go. Those are all the ones I have to choose from. And if you want to, do you want to do gold glitter for their hair? We can easily do gold glitter for their hair. I'm going to go press these. I'll be right back.
almost done. I'll be right there, guys. Give me four seconds. Actually, need six more seconds. <laughs> You got it, friend. We got that. Hey, V. Alicia, I got it. We'll, we'll make sure we make that work. Um, I do have bummies. I can and I can make them for you if you'd like and send them to you. I can probably I can get them out in tomorrow's mail if you want. I've got a whole bunch to make and I just I just plow through them. You just let me know if you want. Um, if that's what you'd like, I could easily get it out in the mail to you tomorrow. And I have a 10% off coupon you can use. If that's what, if you're looking for it. Alicia, I'm going to try my best to get them in the mail tomorrow, okay? Um, I just, when I, I go down tonight, I'll be able to design them out and I'll be able to work on them in the morning. I will try my darndest. That is for sure. But I'm going to get them out. I'm just, I am so honored. You guys, you just don't even know how honored I am. I might be more excited about it than you are. <laughs> we got seven minutes on this one and 12 minutes on this, 11 minutes on that one. So... about you earlier girlfriend did you hear were your ears burning were they doing a burn what's going on b No, girlfriend. We were just worried because um, my brain. K 
Kathleen hadn't seen you and she was like, where's Michelle? She's missing in action. And I was like, I don't know, but I miss Michelle. -y. I had to go twice. Like I had to leave twice and you weren't here to be in charge of the party. We left Leslie in charge. <laughs> I think she fell asleep. It would never be bad, my friend. I adore you way too much for it to be bad. It was blowing too high. Taxes. I had. I just gave Terry all my stuff for last year from Etsy, YouTube, Amazon. Can't remember. Got all mine done. It took forever. It took like three days to go through everything and itemize anything. See, Kathleen was missing Michelle. That one's almost ready to be switched out for the last. For the very, very last, um, Candyland.
I hear you. Oh, you sent me a. Hold on. Let me look. I'm going to have to look at it in a little bit. These are too loud to hear it. I, I do have it. I just haven't. I just can't watch it yet. Oh, that's awesome, Kathleen. That's awesome. Let me grab that. Hold on a second.
Okay. Let me put in the stops real quick. Hang on. This one is done. It's going to be a little loud. Sorry. Wait a second. What have I done wrong? I've done something wrong. Hold on. Hi, baby. Hold on. I'm coming to you. shots of epi, two epi shots, and she also had to um, get steroids, and they had to do, they had to flush her system out with liquids. Um, they have no idea. She's had nothing different, nothing different, no new soaps, no new so detergents, no nothing, I mean nothing, no new clothes even. So they sent her home. She's got an EpiPen. Um, you should see these pictures. I'll show you some of them. Her face is like this. Like Howard, not as bad as Howard, but his was a little exaggerated. But you know, you can develop an allergy at any age. Poor thing. All right. What have I done? <sighs> I messed up, y'all. Hang on just a second. Okay, let me get this one going. Let's get this one going. Let me catch up with you guys, too.
Okay, let me catch up. Generally, people. Yep, seven and a half hours. <laughs> no, I think we did one for nine hours one time. So, you know, I knew you fell asleep, Leslie. I'm glad you're back. I was like, I just said maybe 20 minutes ago, I bet she fell asleep. Welcome back, my friend. So glad to see you. Seeing you makes me so happy. You have no idea. It just makes my heart happy. It makes my heart do a smile. Makes my heart do a smile. Whew, love me some mighty hoops. is for, I do not know how to pronounce that name. This is not gonna work. I just noticed it's really off on the bottom. So many bad words just wanted to come out of my mouth. So many bad words just wanted to come out of my mouth. <laughs> and it didn't. I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> it is on fire. Absolute fire.
All sorts of bad words wanted to go flying out of my mouth just now. I'm very proud of myself. <laughs> I'm very, very proud of myself for not doing that. <laughs> yeah, Monica, no, I, I got my thumb smashed in a mighty hoop. So proud of myself for not letting any bad words fly. That's not even the right color. <laughs> so many bad words just wanted to go flying. I'm so proud. Yeah, it's, it's, um, one in here that I absolutely have to get out tomorrow. It's due out tomorrow, so I don't have a choice, but every time I go to do it, I remember I have another Candyland, and um, I have to switch out so many threads for it that I'm trying to finish all the Candylands first. Trying to get all the candy lands out. That way I don't have to switch them back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. Okay, almost done with these candy lands. Yeah, I like keep looking at it and I'm like, I don't, number one, I don't wanna make it. It's not, it's one of the ones that I don't like making. Um, so there's that. And I feel bad because I keep putting it off because I need to change out threads. But I don't want to change them. And I just want to get all the candy lands done because they require a certain number. They require nine needles. So I'd be switching them out and switching them out and switching them out because I have to change out 
six threads for the next design. Every time I get done, I'm like, oh, wait, I'm done. And then I, so what I did is I went ahead and looked into the future of Etsy orders, of my Etsy orders. And um, I just pulled every last um, I've pulled every last candy land that I have to make. That way it's there. I get them all done. See you later, Michelle. Oh, you're, wait a minute. What am I saying goodbye to? Oh, see you later, Leslie. Give him hell. Get in there and kick some booty, girlfriend. Alicia, the large school. You mean these? Is that what you're talking? Are you talking about these ones, the 5500s? They, they're 5500 yards. That's why I call them 5500s. Um, I get these at, they're Madeira Thread. I get them at United Thread. But having said that, I am switching over to candle thread. Um, I'm almost done with the vlog on it. So. So that's where I, I, and the only reason I get it at United Thread, why I use United Thread is because they're in Miami. Um, 
and I get it. They ship it usually like, oh goodness. They usually ship it within a day or two. And then I am a day's worth of shipping. I am switching over to candle thread. Yes. I had a long, hard talk with myself. It is a business decision. Just like a business decision, I will be, um, I will also be ordering from BB Crafts now instead of Gifts International. Gifts International has doubled their price on the three tools that I use the most of. And you combine that with their shipping and it's just not worth it. Um, they've gone up on all their stuff and their shipping hasn't come down. BB Crafts, I'll buy when it's on sale and it's free shipping. So um, I'm just going to have to deal with a crappy tool. Yes, ma'am. No, you're fine, honey. I'm not mad at you or anything. Please don't think that. Um, I'm not. I'm not even the least bit upset. <laughs> so, but it's just a business decision. So I've been using the pink. I tried out the pink first because I'm a very pink girl. I'm very picky about my pinks. And I'm loving it. How are you? Good to see you.
<laughs> Hi, Luca. Get off the trash. Leave it. Every single time. Get out of that trash. Are you so upset? Are you so upset with me now? Is that what's going on? Are so upset? <laughs> I call her monkey. Oh, let me catch up with you guys. Yeah, I, I've had the first one I bought was not very good. So I was like, so I thought, you know, let's give it another try. And then I ran out of my normal pink thread that I use for Madeira. So I went ahead and put it on the new pink, which is the same number. And it looks amazing. So, you know. And they have a matching tool where you can type in the number that you use from Madeira. And they find one that fits. They find you the closest one. So that's what I did. I just entered all of my Madeira threads in. My thread numbers from Madeira that I use all the time. And um, looks good. So made a business decision. I hoard everything fabric really. <laughs> I didn't know about it was until Wendy came over and we went through everything. Oh my gosh, it was it was awful how much I had and how much I gave her. Yep, gotta leave my personal factors at home and then to work on this like a business. It's hard to because it's personal, you know. Um, so I just go to Google and type in candle thread and that's how I found it. I don't know it off the top of my head. I'm sorry. Joanne's. 
I don't need anything from Joann's right now, if you guys can believe it. I don't need anything at all. I'm just gonna, just gonna be. <laughs> we have 55, 55 thumbs up. Thank you guys. Or as McKinley says, tink you, tink you, tink you, tink you. Yes, ma'am, I'm still working. I've got one more shirt I can make. The other shirts that I wanted to get done today, I have to design out. And I didn't really want to get them done. I'm going, I, I didn't plan to get them done. I didn't mean that I didn't want to. I meant that I need, I, the ones I, the ones I, oh my gosh. I cannot talk. It does. It looks a lot better stitched out than it does on the spool. It really does. I don't know if Chris will agree with me on that. Um, I don't know how you feel about it, Chris, but that's the way I felt about it. I thought the, on the, I thought that on the spool, it looked a little dull, like not as vibrant. But then when it actually stitched out, it stitched out beautifully. I use in Brilliant. I used to be a So What Pro girl, and then I got a Mac. Terry got me an iMac, a MacBook. More thread. He got me a MacBook, um, and I could not use So What Pro because it was, um, it was a brand something about brand new chips or something. I don't, I don't really understand it, um, but I couldn't because of the chip. The emulator wouldn't work because uh, the emulator was a little. Um, behind in its times, I guess. It hadn't been updated. So the emulator wouldn't work on my computer, so I had to switch over to Brilliance. So I had to do a switch. That's that's my my story behind it. I thought so too, Chris. My, th my thumb is bruising up already. Pretty darn good. Swollen. Having said that, I'm glad I did the switch. I really like Brilliance more. It's um, I hated it, absolutely hated it in the beginning. Um, but to my, mm, how do I say this? Um, I was learning a brand new computer and a brand new embroidery software at the same time because I had never had a Mac. I've always had PCs, um, so it was a lot to learn at the. Um, It was a lot to learn. And I was very, very frustrated in the beginning, extremely frustrated with it. Um, but now I'm, I'm so glad now. And I, I don't think I'll ever switch back to a regular PC either after getting an Apple. I, I can edit things so much better. I can design things out so much faster.
All right. What happened to Alicia? Oh, friend. I'll call you on Facebook Messenger and we'll work through that. We'll get you going on it, okay? It's just... I understand, Monica. I'm the same way. The only, the only reason I got it was because I got a new computer and I couldn't use it on my new computer. It's the only reason I got it. Um, if I were, if it were me, I would start off with Brilliance. I'm, I say that now. I'm, I'm, I'm an Brilliance fan now. It's so much more user friendly. And congratulations on the embroidery machine. Monica, are you talking about that you bought in Brilliance or So What Pro? Agreed, Melanie. Yeah. It's by far the user. It just, it's so much easier than So What Pro, in my opinion. Now, don't get me wrong. There are some, there are some um, things. There's one thing that I do miss about So What Pro that I don't like about in Brilliance. And because of that, I do have to occasionally open up my old computer and do something on So What Pro, like removing certain stitches. Um, so I have to do that. I've had to do that several times. I just save it to a jump drive and then just put it in my computer after that. Um, but that that is one thing that you can't do very easily. Michelle, welcome back. In brilliance, yep. It's very easy to learn. I, the only reason why I say in brilliance is this is just me, and this is just my opinion. You know, you guys, it's just an opinion. Um, I lost a pair of scissors somewhere. But anyhow, um, if you ever switch to a Mac, then you've already got it. If you ever, you know, That's completely up to you. I, if I had it all to do over again, I would have started with Embrilliance. The only reason why I didn't is because when I originally started embroidering in 2012 for the original baby shop, um, 
my friend that taught me used Stow It Pro. And that's what I learned on. That's what she taught me on. So that's what I used. Go ahead and hoop your shirts up, Alicia. Yeah, all the angry is not a brilliant. I it's it's six of one in all honesty. Six of one half dozen of another. Having said that, I've had so what pro and I prefer in brilliant. It's just personal, it's a personal preference. It doesn't mean that one's best or better or that you know one you have to use one or the other, you know. Just because I like it doesn't mean that you're going to. You know what I mean? It does not mean that in the least. So just with everything that, um, and the people at Imbrilliance are nicer than the people at So What Pro. issues with um so what pro and they were just nasty um and then a brilliance they're just so much nicer i had i had some questions about them brilliance i couldn't figure stuff out and i watched youtube i couldn't find anything on it on youtube so i called them brilliance and they walked me right through it That's just, um, you know, that's just my opinion. The fact that I was okay with so, I was like, I was so excited about so what pro that it could be run on a Mac that they say it can be run on a Mac. Um, but like I said, the newer Macs, like if you get one right now, you can't use unless they fixed it in the last like six months um, because they couldn't before. And I was really disappointed in that, but I didn't tell them that. I just switched over quietly. You know, I never thought I'd have a Mac either. I love PCs so much. I never thought I'd have a Mac. And then Terry surprised me with one. stabilizer on that one. I'm going to start over. Good customer service is important. It really is. Um, I try to provide that at all times. I'm sure I fail sometimes. Yay! 
There we go. So, you know. Yeah, Macs are good. I like them for this kind of thing. Um, the camera on it's awesome, so I use it for lives now. Um, I don't know. I just really like this Mac a lot. I really do. And it's it's. I really never thought I'd switch from a PC and so what Pro to Mac and in Brilliance. I never thought I would. I never thought I would, but Terry surprised me with it. So, you know, that's good. Yours all set to go on. They'll go on first thing in the morning, Alicia. He did, and he explained that to me, and it was just, um, it was just one of those like super sweet things that he does. I mean. He's such a good guy, such a good guy. I'm, I just love him so much. I'm, I'm a very lucky girl. I have my soulmate. I met my soulmate. And by some miracle, he loves me back. It's a miracle. Oh, well, thank you. I am very fortunate. I know it. I am thankful for it every day. You don't know how much I know it. I never, never have and never will take it for granted, ever. I work daily to be the best wife that I can be the best partner to him that I can be. Um, I think of him in every decision, even in business decisions, I think of him first. Um, I love him. like halfway done with the um with the um candy land
Okay. We'll lay this one down. Give me just one second. Ooh, that sounds good. I don't know what I'm going to do. Maybe some pot sticker dumplings. Maybe. I do have chicken broth. I may make wonton soup with some eggs, some dumplings. Dang, that sounds pretty good, actually. That actually sounds pretty darn tasty. I don't know what I did with it. Oh well. Just gotta get another one. Oh, that's smart, Michelle. That is smart. There's a place here, I think it's called Jimmy John's. Um can't remember what the name is, but I think it's Jimmy John's and they have um, an, an unwitch, which is just, it's the made with a, um, with a, um, lettuce. Can't even talk. It's made with a lettuce <laughs> instead of bun. It's a lettuce, a piece of lettuce. And, um, it's really tasty, like really, really tasty. Yeah, ours our for some reason our our um our Burger Kings need a lot of work too. Yeah, Whoppers are good. <laughs> I get the Impossible Whopper. It is so good. Now when I have to get a regular Whopper, it tastes weird to me because I'm used to the Impossible Whopper burgers. Not weird how that happens. Hey, Natalie. How are you? Welcome in.
I just remembered something. I was supposed to go downstairs about 2 o'clock to take pictures. Oh, well. I can take them tomorrow. I'm not. I I don't do so well taking the, taking photos of, like, I mean, I do. They're, I, they're not difficult for me. Um, I do a passable job. Um, I just do, I do a passable job on it. And, um, wait, what did I do? I don't know what I just did. My watch just went weird. Um, I, I do a passable job. Um, I mean, okay, um, but it takes forever. I mean, you got to edit them. I think Natalie, now that I look at it, is Alicia's daughter. I could be wrong, but I feel like Natalie is Alicia's daughter. Oh, I can tell you. Natalie is her daughter. I got her um, her shirt order right here. Luca, what are you doing, monkey butt? Come here. What are you doing? Are you helping? Is it time? <gasps> You've got 13 more minutes until it's time. 13 more minutes. She's letting me know that her D-I-N-N-E-R is almost late. But it's not. She still has 13 minutes. I'm going to forget like I've ever forgotten. If anything, Terry and I have both fed her in one night and she gets double dinners. So it's not like either one of us forget. In fact, we, the only thing we forget is to tell each other that we fed her. The girl never goes hungry. She gets blueberries and carrots and apples and strawberries and pineapples and mangoes. She gets those for treats because she can't have regular dog treats because she's allergic to every protein known to man. And she's allergic to flour and uh-oh. Yeah, she gets doubled a lot. Don't let her fool you. Hey, Linda. Aw. Yeah, every time I have Luca in there, because Luca weighs like 65 pounds. Um, and they're like, they, they feel her. They're like, where can she lose it? You know? And I mean, yeah.
I was going to feed her. I'm coming down in just a minute. I'm going to sign off of the live. I got to go down. Terry's done working. I've got to go figure something out for dinner. And he's fed Luca already, which is my job. So, um, yeah, she's built like a brick house. She is. She is solid muscle. My goodness. We are at 56 thumbs up. You guys think there's four people that can get it to 60? I love numbers. I love even numbers. So if you guys can, feel give it a thumbs up if you haven't already. If you have, then truly thank you so much for all of the support. Um, we have been doing this for eight and a half hours today. It's a pretty long live. I'm glad that you guys have been able to come and go, and we've had such a good time. So I hope you guys have a fantastic evening, and I will talk to you all later. Bye, guys.